Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates and not live stream here on YouTube. It's Sunday evening, which means live stream like always. I hope you are all doing well. Hello to JP, Alfonso Beer, Vebby. I hope you are all doing good. Adam Swee, hello there to you. Oliver, good to see you guys. Hazard Hazardous Red 383. Good to see some senators in the chat. Mad Titan Bathos. Command Alexio Matic. Uh, well, Matic, it's not really OBS support, it's kind of a community help chat, but they do have a couple of people there who, is who are really helpful. I I hope at least it will be fixed now, and uh, I won't have any issues. Wait, I think I'm actually... Oh, I didn't fix this one. Uh, wait, let me switch. There we go, that, that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> Hello to Danger Cat! Uh, and Danger Cat is the creator of a couple of new assets, as you can see, a little bit of a new look on the stream. Uh, with some new things up there. Instead of having the text, there's now icons representing like latest donation, top monthly, latest senator, uh, and things like that. And there's also, if you're wondering what that is, it's basically, I noticed Streamlabs has like a donation train thing. Basically, it, it's like, I don't know, if you've, seen, if you've been on Twitch, you've probably seen the Twitch sub trains. It's basically the same thing, but with donations, I would say. Um, so it's a little bit. Uh, we'll see how it works. We'll see if I keep it or not. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't see any any damage. Exactly, Oliver. Since you guys seem to like that particular emoji, I thought I'd add a specific, whatever you call it, label for it. Hello there, Daniel S. Good to see you and Liam. Thank you guys again for being here and modding. Much appreciated. JP, I made the thumbnail myself. Very. If if it's a simple thumbnail, I probably made it because it's like cropping Han's face onto an Endor background and adding a text. It's not that hard. My Sunday is very good. Thank you, Iceberg. I did some extra work today for my old job, and then I watched Hammer B1 win another game. We're now in a four-point lead in the league. Absolutely amazing. So I am very glad about that. Um, no, I don't think anyone was surprised that we got a solo season, but we probably all expected more and better content simply. But yeah, I like I think the ti someone was like disappointed or am I, or am, am I excited? Can I, I can I not be both? Like I I'm disappointed in the stuff they revealed, but I'm also excited to play the new content uh, this next week, like the uh, Hero Showdown. I, I'm really excited to test that out especially when with the hero changes that they mentioned as well as uh, wait, what else is coming? Oh, Jabba's Palace of course. I love that map. So uh, yeah. Uh, Captain Sentry, hello there. Uh, glad you like the design, guys. Uh, feedback, very much welcome. Uh, Danger Cat will probably be in the chat, collecting your thoughts as well. What did you do for Mother's Day? Mother's Day isn't until two weeks from now in Sweden. It always confuses us Swedes when we see it on, lo in, on the internet, because we get it a lot later uh, here. I'm seeing solo opening night for sure. Hello there, it's Torbis. Good to see you, man. Uh, and Colin, Stefan. Captain, I already said hello to you, and uh, thank you very much. Let's see if the, the, the new overlay things works. It should work. Uh, it was two months ago in the UK. What? I'm so confused. How many Mother's Days, Mother Day, Mother's Day Easter? Why can't just everyone have a universal Mother's Day? Almost, I think it's it's in two weeks exactly from now. The 27th May is Mother's Day in Sweden. Uh. Come on, I'm waiting for that alert to come through before I say anything, but it's being slow, slow, like always. Unfortunately, there is no, uh, wait, what? Oh, there we go. I am the Senate. Thank you very much, your best Turtles 25 vlogs for joining the Senate. Much appreciated, dude. Uh, hope you will enjoy your stay. Always good to see a couple of new Senators. There's been a bit of a decline, if I'm going to be honest. But uh, it's always good to see a couple of new people joining. So thank you very much for the support. Uh, I also, oh, also this finally we have a proper leaderboard scene now. Uh, may, uh, so I, I don't have that ugly white text on like a black background like I did before. So now I can actually display your very generous gifts here or tips or whatever you want to call it. I just realized that the text, the reason the text looks smaller on the left on the left side is because freaking Apple Tar decided to put a thousand freak spaces in his name, so I had to make the text smaller to, f to fit. Yes, I know it's really annoying. And Apple Tart, please stop using those weird names, okay? But uh, I appreciate it anyways, okay? <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I know. It's it's a little bit. Uh, maybe have the yellow thing behind it, and it fade away the solo a bit smoother into the background. In this case, the stars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know apple tart. Anyone buying? Wait, I need to check something here. Is actually is that on the right layer? Wait, do I not have the? No, it's right there. Okay, good. Just double checking some things. Uh, thank you very much. Your best, your best turtles twenty five vlogs. That's a very hard name to say, but thank you very much. Can't you manually change the name to Apple Tart? Can I? Really? I didn't think I can. Maybe I can. I'm, I'm gonna check. Top. It actually says. No wait, is that? He's on the. I can't even see him here on the. Wait, I'm so confused. No, wait, I need to do all time. There we go, all time. Are you kidding me? Is his name actually... No, he's actually called Apple Tard in Streamlabs, but for some reason he's called the P Tard in only... I don't know, I don't know. Uh, very strange. Mm, short thing, I'll throw you guys some invites. Um, let me see here. No wait, he was already playing. Did I just? I'm gonna make sure I don't invite people who are already in games. Let's get a good party going here. Uh, and see, if we can, I'm, I'm gonna play some Galactic Assault today, mostly. I think. Um, everyone who wants to be in the game, you don't. There's another one. Mute. I think we are ready to go. Let's open a daily crate, like always. Mm. <laughs> Danger Cat, I know. Forco has been extremely generous with his uh, donations. I can't thank him enough for that. Uh, I, I did invite you, baby. But... Uh, Wait, let me see if that works. I'm curious if that super chat actually works for the donation train thing, or if that's only Streamlabs donations. I'm, I'm probably, I'm afraid it's only gonna be Streamlabs, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, why is the, the the alert so delayed today? I see what you mean, Colin. I don't blame you. Oh, okay. That thing just glitched. What the actual ha uh That's bugged, okay. My trick's gonna work on me. Only money. Train now boarding. Been watching a bunch of your BF2015 videos this week. Looking forward to that throwback stream sometime. <laughs> Can I get an INV? First of all, Webby, I sent you an invite. Thank you very much for the super chat. And the Zoid, the 33rd Zoidberg, thank you very much for the donation, dude. Much appreciated. I've uh, been watching a bunch of your BF2015 videos this week. Why did we get a replay? Oh, okay, the replay just glitched out. Uh, why is that thing so small? Um, okay, that's weird. But uh, I will I'll, we'll do that throwback stream, don't worry. It will be happening. Um, now the stream is acting really weird. So first of all, the boom replay thing is really small. And I don't understand why. Wait. Show boom replay. Can I do a test replay here? Now it's really... What? I'm so confused. So... First of all, the replay was bugged. And why is it showing... 005.000 like a th Streamlabs, please. That looks so bad. Wait, which one is that? That's the donation train, I guess. Hide when always show zero when enact. I'm so confused. That thing is. Oh, I need to take a screenshot of this and send to Streamlabs because that is broken. Very broken. <laughs> Technical issue stream. I like always, especially when I've got some new uh, things going on. But the, I, I do not understand why that thing says zero, zero, like. 
I think I tried sending myself a donation. Actually, I did try. I did send myself like a five dollar, a one dollar donation, and it worked. So I'm so confused as to why that thing is displaying zero zero five something. Let me let me check something very quickly here uh, before we get this started. I'm gonna see if I can figure if I can figure that out or if it's just gonna be broken. I can't even find the right folder because I have so many folders on this, my old my my streaming PC is basically my old PC, so I have like t five year old really just a bunch of crap. I should probably clear out that computer to be honest. But let's see, it's that file is called total amount. Why is it saying zero? Okay, what if I delete? If I just do like that, will it will it auto? Did that help? Now it says five. It's probably gonna auto update and go back to that stupid amount if I, if I know that thing correctly. Oh well, let's just get. That's not not an important issue for now. Let's uh, let's jump into a game instead. Mm. For for some reason, for some reason, Tesco uh, Danger Cat. When I read that read that, I was like, wait, Tesco bought it. Oh wait, Tesco. Like, not, not Tesco 249 or 429. I, I, I keep messing up. It's Tesco 249 and Darkness 429. I, d I know, I do have a lot of crafting parts that I just haven't used yet. Oh man, and now I notice that this thing is clipping over the edge. The uh, You guess you gotta stop having long names. <laughs> uh, oh, nice. A good map, good map. Javin 4 is always good. Yes, of course I've seen Infinity War. I made a uh, review of it. Right, so which classes do we level today? Let's go with some heavy. <laughs> no, y what? Danger Cat Javin is good. And uh, no, the, the super chats doesn't seem to work for the donation trade. It's only for Streamlabs donations. Um Ready to go. Troops on the ground. The rebel base has been largely evacuated. Thomas the link is at the dangerous. second link A in the description I think. Remains on site purging compromising intelligence. Oh, and the of course uh, G force is broken like always. Please don't tell me it's going to update now. Yippee! Let me just Turn on the in-game overlay. That's for some reason turned off. Please don't crash. Please work. Thank you. Thank you, Kethel. Kethel for the super chat. Much appreciated, dude. Uh, by the way, Danger Cat. I think you didn't act. Did you actually add any background to the the little things in the corners? Because uh, it still doesn't look like there's any actual background to it. As you, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's any black, um, dark background, if you know what I mean. Because it's when, it, when it's bright, it's pretty hard to see. Oh. Let's just push here. Uh. What? Rip. Yeah, Colin, they need to reveal some future plans if they want to keep people excited about this game. They need to stop, like, drip feeding sometimes pretty underwhelming content, especially when it's a big, been a big drought. Until the target is destroyed, do not leave the area. <laughs> Push those damn donations. I feel bad, I can't just be, like, asking. I know a lot of people do like, oh, donation, I don't know, it's shot when I get a donation or something like that. But I, I, I don't like asking for donations. I could ask for senators at least, right? I wish they had, uh, they, for some reason they don't have, on YouTube they have donation alerts, I mean donation trains. On Twitch they have Twitch, no, subscriber trains, but they don't have YouTube Sponsor trains, so I don't know. It feels like it would be exactly the same feature.
Honestly, as much as people say the game is dead, like I've, I've, when I've talked to people, like, what, how do I put it? Outside, outside of the core Battlefront community, like, uh oh, people who don't go Reddit and people who don't go social media, they are not at all as negative as many of us might be. And I think, like you said, it's a new season coming out around a new Star Wars movie. It's probably gonna. Uh, Bring in some good marketing for the game, although I think it's gonna uh, at least the initial drop is gonna disappoint the core community. As a marketer, it drives me mad seeing all the potential, but not seeing it being taken advantage of. I don't know how to like. How do I say? Oh, please donate money to me. I need money for rent. It. it, uh, it I don't know. <laughs> you will get your name appear on the screen. Exclusively out for 450 people. Yeah, the game is far from dead. It's the future that is worrying me. The current state is pro definitely better than the, the last game was at this stage when it comes to player base. I'm pretty confident of that, but uh, it's the future I'm worried about since they refuse to reveal any big plans or anything that people have been asking for. Oh shit. Uh, I'm ready to go. I think you're gonna like Solo more than you currently think. I hope you're right. And I think it also depends a lot on uh, um, the June contents, obviously. I think they should, because like, the thing is, on the EA website, they kind of promoted this as the return of the Jedi patch or whatever the, the, the May month and I think that would have been better to do that and then they could have uh, um, and then they could have gone for more like oh season 2 starts in June instead and that is just like a return of the Jedi pre season patch oh my god it's going horribly right now why is there so many heroes everywhere well we, we just started Oh, my eyes. There's so much pollen right now, it's like, it's painful. All turbo lasers neutralized. Wipe out the rebels and await <laughs> new orders. I don't know, Streamlabs is incredibly slow with alerts today. Like, seriously, what is it doing? The outer defenses are down, but we still have far to go. Yippee! Subscribe before the BF1 2015. Happy to see your content on here as a shining beacon amongst the bad content in this site. May the force be with you. Thank you Yippee! very much, Justin, for the kind super chat and the kind words. Uh, I'm glad you've been watching for so long. And I'm glad I can be a beacon of light amongst the bad content on this side. Sight. Uh, th thank you very much for the kind words. Appreciate Yippee! it. And uh, here's some pity money for a poor, overlooked streamer and content creator. Since you begged for it. Uh, <laughs> wait. And thank you very much, uh, bitch, for the super chat. Appreciate it, dude. Um, I I know. I be I begged for it, and I appreciate the super chat, dude. Thank That's you. <laughs> And uh, Camille, what's your stream schedule? I don't really have a set schedule. The only set day I have are Sunday evenings, and then it's usually weekday evenings and drops. So like on Wednesday when the season two drops, you can expect a stream probably on Thursday as well, or probably even Friday. We'll see how many days I have time. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you, thank you guys very much for the super chats. Appreciate it, guys. Exactly, Danger Cat was right, it did work. I need to start begging for more donations, right? Um, Daniel, what do you... Daniel, how about we let Infinite War spoilers, like... Like, I feel like, we, like, I feel like at this point, let's put it this way. People, people want to discuss Infinite War, fine. If people go in in the chat and just make a list of everyone who died, it's pretty obvious that they do it just to spoil. Feel free to time them out if they do that, okay? I think you, I think it's pretty easy to see the difference between, okay, I want to discuss the movie. Hey, I just want to piss off potential people who might care, you know? So, let, let's say, feel free to discuss it. 
But if you just go in there to be a jerk, expect to be timed out at least, okay? Uh, I will probably not straight out say massive spoilers yet in the stream. So if you're still scared for spoilers, just mute the chat. But I I'll, I'll, I'll gladly discuss it without just completely ruining the move for people who haven't seen it, okay? Uh... Man, I am, I'm not paying attention much to the game. <laughs> Austin Fox. Yeah, that's like great, because that's like the kind of... If you've seen the movie, you understand the reference. If you haven't seen the movie, it's not going to spoil anything. Mr. Palpatine, I don't feel so good. Jesus Christ, what is this? Uh, and why are the alerts incredibly freaking slow today? Has Streamlabs like reduced the the rate they refresh for alerts? Yippee! MCU of Star Wars movies. I think the MCU is better. Thank you very much, Model Prime. Uh, I, I I think overall I I prefer Star Wars over Marvel. Uh, if we're talking as a franchise as a whole, I oh like average enjoyment of each movie. I have to say Star Wars, but I will say that I preferred Infinite. I I liked Infinity War more than I liked any of the new Star Wars movies. I think uh, maybe Rogue One not or uh, okay probably. Um. I would definitely say I, I enjoyed Infinity War more than both Force Awakens and Last Jedi. Hello there, Stu. Yeah, I think I, I kind of agree with Delta Forces there. <laughs> I, I, I completely disagree with you, Jimmy. I thought Thanos was the opposite of a normal or other boring villain. He was actually really well made. You could sympathize with him to some degree. He was just, I don't know, Thanos was just almost as good as Palpatine. <laughs> oh my god, what is this kind of, like, what is this game? Seriously. Hello there, Eduardo. Good to see you. I don't, know, I don't understand what's going on in this game. Like, we're getting after. I can't, I can't even kill anyone on a one on one. I just die from. Oh my god, I killed two people. What is this? I need to complain more. That's what seems to work. Wait, the Vulture is still my favorite MCU villain, personally. The Vulture? What's, what? The Vulture? Who's that? Is that the. Uh, the Spider-Man enemy? Is that Vulture? Oh wait, wait what's Vulture? Did my, did my audio just die? What? On this map? Okay, Vulture. Yeah, I, I don't know, I thought it was kind of boring. Why did my audio just die? Wait. Oh my god, I've, I've never had the audio die on this map. <laughs> it all always happens on... Audio died for us too. Okay. Come on, dice. All these bugs in this game. Huh. <sighs> exactly, Colin. People who say that haven't watched my streams. Let's see if it works. Sometimes it works just to quit out in the menu, but I got a feeling I'm gonna have to reboot the game like always. That's that's like I've only uh nope, it's still broken. Great job, dice. Great job. Uh, let's reboot the game. <laughs> that happens. That's a way too serious bug to ha be happening this often in a AAA game. Seriously. Uh, Killmonger was also great. I thought Killmonger was. <laughs> there's been a lot of good villains. You know, I I don't the vulture to me personally wasn't like a favorite, but uh, Killmonger was great. Mm. 
I think that this audio glitch has probably happened like 20 or 30 times to me at this point. Uh, now I gotta mute everyone again. Oh, I keep forgetting to use uh, Danger Cats mute mod. Everyone in here, let's queue up again. An audio, please don't die. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, then you cat. I feel like the MCU villains are getting better and better with each movie. I fully agree with you. Which map are we playing now? Jakku. Really? And I didn't get time to switch. Look at okay, it's like there's some new people playing the game, which is great to see. There's a guy with like 11, channel, level Elliot. 5. You always bring a smile on my face when you upload smile. Thank you very much for the super chat. Elliot451, you've got a very nice ni name there. And you're also spelling it correctly. Most people... Uh, Whenever they write my name, they use two T's or one L, so uh, I'm glad you also spell it the right way. Thank you very much, Elliot, for the super chat and for your kind words, dude. I'm I'm glad I can bring a smile on your face. Now I just thought of a Thanos quote. Balancing the universe is, isn't something I considered fun, but this this brings a smile on my face or something like that. But he doesn't he doesn't actually say that in the movie, does he? He just says that in the trailer, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh no, I thought this was the... Oh, I, I need to put some Thanos quotes on my stream deck, that's for sure. Especially the... the perfectly path. balanced, like all things should be. I love that quote. I can use it for so many things, like when someone throws the flashbang, I can use it. <laughs> Ironically. Ooh, that was a nice one. Thought I was dead right there. Oh my shit, how am I not dead yet? <laughs> nice thing you can't. It was pretty bad, what? Really? Like it wasn't my favorite movie, like I know it was for some people. But I definitely thought Oh my god, that was a good streak. Seven man kill streak. That's why I prefer the assault. Um, but I don't know. It wasn't. I, I would not. I would definitely not say Black Panther was a bad movie. <laughs> yeah, that's the quote, Colin. Thank you. Who cares if people didn't know who Thanos was three years ago? They built him up pretty well in the. In uh, both Guardians and uh, in the end credits, so just like slightly hype him more than they've hyped any other villain so far. Oh, well, I'm on the wrong side, but let's go anyways. Flank. Oh, did he see me? Oh, that was a good throw. What? Woo! Oh. Wait, what? It was pretty mediocre up until. What are those? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, that's scene. What? Really? Uh, what, Stefan? That sounds like a really bad thing to shout. <laughs> what the hell? Is Apple Tard here? Hello there, Apple Tard! Hey, 
Oh, that was a good. Oh, that's a lot of people. Oh my god, I just hit two of them, but didn't kill anyone. <laughs> I could get a hero soon. We've lost the sector. That's okay. I've got a plan. Fall back and recruit me. Yippee! What would be the worst outcome for episode 9? AKA, what would it take for it to be your least favorite Star Wars film? One second here. <laughs> I'm gonna let that out. One time what is your favorite superhero film? Mine is Logan. Infinity War comes in second. First of all, thank you very much, Beck and Model Prime, <coughs> for your super chat. Much appreciated. Um, what would the worst outcome be? Man, I don't know. I I think if they keep it, if the world building in episode 9 is as bad as it was in The Last Jedi, where we don't get anything else about the rest of the universe, and we're for a finale of a trilogy, and if we are linked to like just one little skirmish again on one planet, basically, uh, of course, by a little bit on the count of bite, but. That would be so disappointing to me. That's the main thing I missed from the prequels, the world building. Oh, I just did a lot of damage there. Um, so if there's nothing like that, and if they give a bad... Uh, let's try some Ray. If they have a bad like resolution for all the characters as well, where we don't get... I don't know. Like, and something, If they do something really bad with Leia as well, bad ending for her, just kill her off screen or something like that, that would be also be really bad in my opinion. I don't know exactly what the worst outcome would be, but those are things, some things I'm looking looking for. And Model Prime, I, I have to say Infinity War is my favorite superhero movie. After that, probably Iron Man 1, I would say. Um, here, okay, let's just go here. What? No, I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid. Let's get out of here. What? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Really? 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 Okay, yeah. That double droid is, of course, that's just so balanced. Stay together. <laughs> Disgusting droid. I just want to kill... What? Really? Really? Through the wall? Okay. Great. Uh, Dark Knight is probably up there as well, but I think... If I had to, uh, Infinite War and then Iron Man 1, probably. I still want to kill Phasma, but she's a little coward. Did someone just destroy her droid or something? And I can just kill her. Just hold on. Uh, please? Did someone destroy her droid? Not many, but still dangerous. Well, she she's already died, didn't she? I think so, right? Uh, Alright, let's, let's see if I can... I need to get some kills here. Done. Understand? What? It did. No, I'm so dead. Oh, no flame troopers. Oh man, flame troopers are deadly against heroes. The amount of slices it takes to take them down, you hit them like six or seven times. Well, that sucked. Then it's definitely on our side. If someone is, if someone is on our side, well, I think all the developers on our, on our, on our side, to be honest, you really think someone is sitting there like, no, I don't want to make the content do it. That's not the problem with that. Wait, what do you? What happened to you now? What? Uh, okay, let me listen to this. I don't even know what's going on. It just happened randomly. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what caused that. I think it's for the new Windows update. Let me try something. Let me try. Every See if that helps. I have no idea why that just started. Like, if it's something that has issues from the start, I can understand. But why would it happen like that in the middle of stream? I have no idea why that just started. Did it? Does it work now? I okay. That was... Very strange. 
Uh, it's so much easier when something is broken from the start, but not when it just happens all of a sudden for no reason. It's like, why? Oh well, at least I knew how to fix it. That's good. If it's that easy to fix, it's not a problem. <laughs> Grievous is in the game, just listen, exactly. Exactly, Castlink, you just fix it. <laughs> Why, why is that apple tart? Oh. No, I, I'm... That was so bad. I did not mean to do it on that position. Oh, I killed someone. That's good. Open that door again, I dare you. Uh-oh, here comes the ATSD. A new poster. Definitely. Your, your last. I wonder if Ben has po printed your last poster, by the way. <laughs> it's probably been pretty busy, but it would be cool to see if they framed it. Uh, no, Colin. I'm not really interested in watching episode 9 leak videos, so I have not seen those. There's usually. The majority of them are usually fake, so I'm not really interested. <laughs> Hello there, monkey place. Someone remove those disgusting ATSTs from this map, please. Oh, really? That droid? Oh my... Okay. I died. Alright then, you can't. Let's show it after this game. Do you think we're getting a legendary sheep skin? I really wish so, but I don't have my hopes up, to be honest. Dennis is pro... <coughs> Dennis is probably inactive <coughs> on Twitter. Because Ben is communicating very well, so Dennis doesn't feel a need to communicate, that's my guess. <laughs> Audio, Mr. Elliot, that feels so good. <laughs> that meme can apply to like everything. Do you think we're getting a third Millennium Falcon? I hope not, I'm so tired of having Millennium, different Millennium Falcon versions. But I mean, it's probably not that much development time, but it's still development time, I would much rather have seen something else. It's like, doesn't the solo, I mean, uh, the solo version of Millennium Falcon look, look the same outside? Since we can't see the inside interiors, what's the point of us having a third one? You think we'll see a trailer next week? Uh, probably not. I think they might not show that until EA Play, to be honest. Oh, oh my, how did I just kill both of them? I don't know. Whew. I'm with you. The solo falcon looks different on the outside. A lot different, okay. Well, in that case, maybe it's worth it. GG. Right, let's check out Danny Cat's poster. That's a pretty high post, or like tall poster, I guess you could say. Oh, it's it opened up on the wrong. There we go, Camino. That look. Oh, I like those. Are those in the water in the in the movie? Maybe, yeah, maybe they are actually. I thought they dropped from the sky. <laughs> that looks. That looks like it has a lot of potential. But did you draw this, or did you like take an in-game image and uh, and like? I don't know what art make it into art or whatever you say. I don't know how to call Gone it. Go on a vlog play this year. Thank you very much, Captain Sentry, for the super chat. Much appreciated. And uh, 
Yes, I will be. Uh, well, which map again? Oh, Jakku again. Never mind. I will be vlogging at EA Play for sure. I will do that. It's 38 combined screenshots. What? How can you possibly fit 38? I would have guessed in like three or four, maybe. <laughs> that is. That's the kind of thing that when you see it, you don't think. You, you, it's hard to understand how much work is behind it. Especially for someone who's not very artsy and understand how you make that. <laughs> I'm at your side. The resistance came to Jakku to buy an old Imperial droid from the local scavengers. Though the droid may 14 gigabytes? How can it, how can an image possibly be 14 gigabytes? <laughs> Holy crap. And the resistance will kill for it. Oh, we'll and there breaks the... the resistance from departing. There breaks the, the, the donation train thing again. <laughs> Matrix gonna work on me. All the money. The neighbor's cat was standing on the lawn below our window. So I thought it would be a good idea to throw a water balloon at it. And the neighbor just happened to see the whole thing so he shouted. And said he'd press charges if it <laughs> happened again. <laughs> Oh my god, Apple Tar. Yeah, that is embarrassing for sure, dude. That is very embarrassing. But I don't understand why you thought it would be a good idea to throw the water balloon in the first place, but it's pretty harmless, to be honest. It's not like it's gonna hurt the cat. But I find that is pretty embarrassing, I'll agree. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for the donation, man. It seems like that donation crane thing is completely broken. Um, I need to take another screenshot of that, just to like show Streamlabs how uh, broken that is. In control. Is that number working though? Yeah, the countdown is working properly at least, that's something. 3.30, I wonder if, we can in if I can increase that timer. Uh, you're dead. Thank you. Ah, my kill. Ah! Oh, we killed each other. Actually, I did some doing pretty well. <laughs> it could do seriously injure a cat. Yeah, I would never throw a water balloon on a cat. Uh, I, I would never think that was a good idea, but I don't think it would hurt the cat either. What does that timer do anyway? It's like, it's pretty unclear, I'll agree. It's like a donation train, basically. It's a thing on Twitch where you have like these sub trains where like the timer goes on, then it adds up all the, the subs in a row. So like if someone were to donate now, it would add that to the amount Apple Tar just donated. So it, it shows the total amount. Uh, but I don't know why it's like rounding it, why it's not rounding it down, that looks so stupid. Uh. Oops. Duro's dead. Shit. Let's get out of here. Uh, and the heat vision scope is still broken. It's probably conversion rates, yeah. Matrix gonna work on me. All the money. Thank you very much, Matt, for the donation. Nice. It seems like at least the uh, the the donation train adding thing works properly. So, uh, thank you very much, Matt. I'm glad you liked the new uh, look. Shout out again to Danger Cat, as always, for creating these uh, sexy new graphics. Well, that was an easy cap, cap. I think uh, Respawn's game should be in the Clone Wars era, for sure, the prequel era. In terms of gameplay, that's just the most interesting era, to be honest. There's so many characters, so many creatures, so many planets, you know? Oh, let's go uh, fast, man, just because I'm, I'm not level 25 with her yet.
Yeah. I hate that the heat vision scope doesn't work properly. It makes it the heat vision scope even worse because like I can't see them because it's broken. So frustrating. I'm ready. All right, let's get the droid up here. Do you think we will? I hope we will have season three news at EA Play. They need to have non-solo news for EA Play. Honestly, like they really need that. Where am I getting shot from up there? What? I thought I put my droid out. There we go. Please fix the heat vision scope. I swear this is so annoying. Ouch. That who's doing so much damage when I'm behind this thing? Well, we capped it, so that's something. Imagine if they flew you all the way to all the way to EA Play to show off a stormtrooper-style car in Need for Speed or something. <laughs> oh man, that would be so. Uh, it would be pretty cool, but it would also be very uh, underwhelming, to say the least. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna have something Battlefront related there. Thank you very much, Brad Diedrichs, for the donation. Wishing that train decimal point. I think it's completely broken, honestly. It just added. It didn't even properly add your. What the? Now it says four point. Okay, that thing is completely broken right now. The donation train thing. Uh, it's. It added even more decimals after your donation. How broke. Wait. This is so weird. How broke can this thing become? Wait, can I make this even... Wait, I need to try something here. That thing is... <laughs> I don't know. But thank you, Brad. Appreciate it. I wish that train... Donation train thing worked better. It seems to be completely broken right now. It's just showing. That's not. That's the, that doesn't even make sense. Even if the conversion rates are wrong, why would it like Swedish add Lando, a, dot a Star after? Wars I don't know. story with yogurt and cereal? Thank you very much, Austin, for the super chat. Swedish Lando, a Star Wars story with yogurt. It's milk first, okay? I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have some uh, delicious milk in Nesquik when I put the milk in first after this, okay? Oh my. God, did I just almost kill myself? Whoa! Hello there. Oh, my droid is still. Oh, we won. Okay. Well, that's a pretty bad round, but I got a level at least. Level is always good. Cast Star Wars with Swedish actors. <laughs> that that'd be something. But that donation thing is completely wacky. Is that the same on all of these? Yeah, it's it's. I don't My know. trick's gonna work on me. All the money. Really appreciate your honest views oh. about season That's two it. on YouTube and Twitter. I just hope that people in high places listen to you and the community because this game has so much potential. Wait, wait, wait. My oh. trick's gonna work on me. All the money. I am so. Confused. Hello there. Wait, wait. Um, okay, the, it adds, well it adds My every do, donation as a decimal, okay this is, this is, more decimals, <laughs> it, wait how big is that, that thing covers the entire, 
It's soon that's gonna cover the entire stream. <laughs> oh my god. So, first of all, thank you very much, Chris, for the uh, donation. Much appreciated. I really appreciate your honest views about Season 2 on YouTube and Twitter. I just hope people in higher places listen to you. Definitely, I think so. There's even, even the most positive people in the community have spoken out against this. I'm always gonna be honest, but I'm not gonna be this t throwing this tantrum. I will see both sides. You can be very disappointed and still excited for something at the same time. That's just the way it is. But thank you, Chris. I appreciate that you appreciate it, man. And link of you, thank you for the seven dollars, dude. General this. Kenobi. I should have responded right after I heard that, okay? But thank you, Link of you. And the thirty-third Zoidberg, thank you for the three dollars. More decimals. That that thing has almost filled out the entire screen now. It's like that, well, that's something. <laughs> I don't understand. It seems like instead of adding it together mathematically, it's adding it together like after each other. Uh, yeah, that thing is completely wacko. <laughs> this turning out a great way to encourage donations. Yeah, <laughs> donate and to add more decimals. But can you make this a, a multi-line thing? Can I like... Can I make that an, a multi-line thing? So it would add even more lines, basically. What if I... What if I, if I put it to like 100? Then I remove the wrap. What happens if I do that? Wait, wait. Money. One second. Let's see. How, how bugged can I get this to be? Oh, okay. It cuts the donation off now, I think. Or... No, wait. Wrap. If I do wrap... At the main computer, loading override. I don't even know what that means. This, this, is, this is too I'll weird. The override. What if I put position. it on like 600? Will it, will it? Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, I figured out. It now it's basically basically gonna make new lines, starting. new lines with those decimals, I think. Which is, yeah, <laughs> the decimals are taking over. Indeed. <laughs> Maybe this was intended. The donation train will instead. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Thank you very much, and uh, congrats on becoming the new stream boss. I, I got completely caught up on all those decimals, man. But uh, thank you very much, Chris, for the donation again. And congrats on becoming the stream boss, dude. I, I really love that scene that Danish Cat made. I think the stream boss scene might still be one of my favorites. Or maybe the hyperspace transition still. <laughs> I think it's always so epic to press that button, you know? Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh oh. What? He took that to the face! Wait, how did I get 2,000 points? I haven't even killed anyone. I didn't redo the stream boss scene. Wait, do you need to do- Do you need to redo the stream boss scene? There's like nothing new you need to update there. Unless you want it to fit with everything else, then yes. But it's not something I show too often, so... Begun, the Decimal Wars has. Can, is it possible to unmod? The there we go. Uh, those decimals will disappear in approximately one minute from now. <laughs> I think it it removes the decimals when the, when the train stops, so to say. Stir, it's supposed to be a donation train, but... Instead of adding the numbers together, it's just putting all of them without rounding them off in a row. Streamlabs, please. Going in. <laughs> Maybe that's actually a better way to encourage those su those donations. It's working. Take control of the walker bay. They'll head for that position. Be ready to spring. Exactly. Time. Keep the train going to keep the decimals. <laughs> All right, Nicole, thank you, and uh, see you later. Walker Bay Control secured. Starting override. Rip. Rip train. Oh, let's hope those all disappear now. We'll see. Overriding the Walker now it's clear again. Zero. <laughs> Detaching power cable. Walker is coming online. See to her safety. 
Right, Obix, thank you, and uh, see you later. Hello there. No! No! That's mine! <laughs> Apple Tar, don't worry about it. As long as the cat wasn't Yippee! hurt, it's just gonna be a little bit awkward, and that's about it. Thank you, Brad, for the super chat. Never stop the decimals. Indeed, never stop them. They, they unfortunately disappeared. And uh, again, the super chats does, does, does not. <coughs> super chats do not work with the. <coughs> <coughs> with the train, only Streamlabs donations, but uh, thank you anyways, much appreciated. I hope that the new skins in Battlefront will make a lot of money. Because hopefully that will encourage EA to actually support this game, you know? Man, I, I am, I've gotten two kills this... Oh, does Ewok still scare me from, from Ewok count? Oh. Really? Is there no one here? Oh, there they are. Oh, okay, here it comes. Elliot, can you do IT? So I can do IT. Because do IT do IT when you do IT. So I need to do IT. All do IT. All night long. So help me tilde tilde D E W I T. Because I need to oh do IT, and you, do IT, are the only do IT. Who can do IT? So do 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 d e w. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stefan, for the super chat. I mean donation. That was actually the longest text to voice I've heard without text to voice being cut off because it's too long. So uh, well done on that, man. And uh, it seems like you broke the donation train thing again. Now it's not even showing. What? Did I just die by walking into a fallen ATSD? Really? Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, the play base is definitely not a few thousand, Marcus, I can guarantee you that. Uh, it, it not only does it not add these, the, the donations to get it correctly, it rounds them off incorrectly as well. Like, that thing is beyond broken. Ooh, come on, let's have a little fight. Oh! oh! I can't turn around with these buggy controls. Let's get up in the woods again. No! Don't kill me! Oh my god, I'm so low in health. I'm gonna crash and die, aren't I? Yeah, of course. Let's have some fun here on this map. Always fun with speeder bikes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if my math, if my math is correct, if it's a roughly a million dollars a month with the current team, but why is it so buggy? Like, fix these physics, please. Um, but yeah, uh, a million dollars. So if it's say ten dollars per skin on average, that's a hundred thousand skins they need to sell them in a month. That's quite a lot of skins for sure, just to break even. But I mean, they should also be able to take some of the profits from. From actual base game sales, sales in my opinion, Man, and I wouldn't mind if they added. Uh, the money. Thank you, Brad. Wait, stream super chats don't want on on me only Streamlabs money. I'm so confused about that. Am I supposed to be able to understand that? I appreciate appreciate the donation. Uh, anyways. I like how a, a bug is encouraging people to donate. That's just that's 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 a new new thing. Um, and I, I really can't find anyone to kill. Like where are usually there's a lot of people you can just run over here, but oh here's someone, and you're dead. Thank you. There we go. Oh, there's not a speed bike. I I just got an assist on someone. This thing is beyond bugged, like I Okay, I should have stayed in my on my speed bike. Oh I'm dead. No, they they took that away, Daniel, unfortunately. I'm so bummed that they did, but uh, they they did yeah.
Exactly. If there's 8,000 people playing the last game right now, you can just imagine how many they're playing this game. As much as there's been a lack of content and the play base has definitely declined, Incoming saying the game is dead in. is... Uh, it doesn't make any sense. If it was actually as dead as people think, some people say it is. Oh! Oh my god, I almost killed Vader for full health. I just killed Vader for full health. Rip. Uh, they would have abandoned it as fast as they abandoned Andromeda, you know? So, it will probably have probably declined a lot of play base, but it's far from dead. People don't understand what a dead game means. Actually getting some kills now. Oh. Poor Vader indeed. Poor Vader. I don't even feel bad. <laughs> well, that was that was a, that was possible to happen because I I first barraged the crap out of him and then I slammed into him three times with the speed bikes. I mean he was sure the speed bikes might still be a little bit OP, especially when you slide sideways like this, you shouldn't be able to do that. But like that guy, I don't know what he was doing with Vader. When someone stands still like that, I could have killed him with a blaster as well. Rip. Oh, I got a lot of points now. <laughs> I think they could add some more stuff. That pe I think they need to add some more credit sinks if they want people to spend money. With the current rate, uh, mo a lot of skins people are able to afford as soon as they release. So, like, if, when they start adding heroes to the game, between that you need that you need to pay credits for, then people will. will but that, I think that's the that's the thing. If, when they release heroes for credits, they will probably not release them for crystals because that would then kind of be pay to win again, uh, or maybe for crystals. I don't know. Oh, it wouldn't be paint win depending on how good the heroes are, but they need to add more credit sinks if they want to make money. Do you think they will keep the game running long enough until they release? I I don't know. I still I think they're still haven't decided if they're making a Battlefront three or going all in on this one. I mean, it's not voting very well for this game considering it seems like EA has kind of half given up on this game already, but. I hope that, I don't know, I don't see how they could make a Battlefront 3 so much better. Like if, like, if you think about the current state of the game, what could they do more than maybe like ground to space battles, just more Clone Wars content, but it, no matter what they did, it would be, they would have to take so much content from this game. They couldn't just make a content with new game, like only new, a, 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 a I mean a game with only new content, like oh, all the new maps and things like that. So I would rather they just... EA just say, okay, let's make this work in the long run. Let's put di so much resources to die skin. Well, they fixed most of the base stuff. They did need to fix bugs now, basically, and balancing. And then put a bunch of resources on making content and bringing the play base back and new players in there, showing that they actually want to do good on this game. And this game can last for a long time, I think. We don't, they don't need to make a Battlefront 3, you know? Because I'm not sure what they could. The only the only time I could see a Battlefront 3 working could potentially be for episode 9 in 2020, 2019. Because maybe at that point there'll be a lot of content they can uh, they can they can make uh, like the game based on. Yeah, they were Finn and Phasma were free, but I think that was because there was the whole backlash at the start, and there was already so many heroes that people didn't have credits to unlock. But this far after launch, I think they they should put the new heroes behind a credit lock, honestly. Like it, it's, I think the best thing would be put them behind a credit lock, not crystals. So because then people gotta save their credits for them. But I guess at the same time it would be annoying for someone who, who might wanna... I don't know, would you guys be fine? Oh my god, please. I don't wanna die from that ATSD. Would you guys be fine if... If heroes were bo both behind credits and crystals the same way skins are? Would that be fine with you? Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. I like listening to you discussing things. Thank you, I'm glad you do. I like discussing things with you guys, okay? I like stream discussions more than I like video discussions, because it's kind of just unfiltered thoughts, you know? Credits only. Alright. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. It could be credits only. Oh man, I'm gonna get wrecked by Bosk. I think, okay, let me put it this way. I think, I honestly think, I don't, if they want, like, they, let's be real, realistic. They need to make money if they're gonna be able to support this game properly. Uh, in that case, I would say, I think they should be available for both crystals and credits. Not that many, like, they, not that many credits. Uh, like, they would be maybe less than, maybe either as an epic skin or cheaper. But if if they do if they do that, they would announce it like at least a month ahead, at least a month ahead. So you have so anyone who actually wants to get in credits and not sp spend any money will have plenty of time to grind those credits. Because that's what I think would be bad if they just went, oh tomorrow, oh wait, wait, I'm just gonna fight. Yeah, yes. Uh, uh, so yeah, if they. I'm sorry, I, I lo lost my throat of, of mind or whatever it's called. Mine, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But yeah, basically, the worst thing they could do is they say, Hey, tomorrow we're releasing Grievous and Obi-Wan. By the way, there are going to be 80,000 credits to unlock both. You're welcome. Or you can pay $20. Then, then it feels like a really cheap move. But if they give you those things in advance, so you know, Okay, I am not going to buy any skins for a month. I'm just going to save my credits. credits. I think you will be fine. I think, yeah, starter packs is also something they should add. Because they've had them in, like, Battlefield, they've had them in Battlefront 1. Just make sure they're not, like, pay to win. Give them, oh, let's boost your class to level 15 or something like that, you know? Not not get your cards to epic, but you can unlock a bunch of base cards and get, like, base levels. Those kind of things, I don't think people would mind. But I think they need to do it... Not now, like, in a, when the game is in a better state of mind, where people are happy, there's good content. Oh, by the way, we're gonna start charging for some things that will help new players, but that current players will not mind at all, you know? Actually, I'm doing pretty well with Yoda for once. Oh, nice, level 20. I need to get more levels, considering I need to get 25 so I can get some epics. Yoda's pretty fun actually. He's the because he's so hard to hit that he, he, he's not he doesn't die as fast as I feel like uh oh shit. Okay now I'm probably gonna die. Why did that not hit him? Vader is like the worst enemy of or actually any lightsaber wheeler because you can't block anything, so you're dead. But we're winning now, so you guys better push in here if you want a chance to, to actually survive this. Uh oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. That flashbang though. And Aiden is dead. Let's push here. The game is ending now. Let's go! Oh, GG. That was a good game. Yeah, I, I don't know. I ideally they release them for free, but it's like they need if they want to give the <coughs> this the proper live support. I, I don't know. I would not mind. I would feel it would feel more it would feel more rewarding to grind for a hero than a skin. But it's still the problem with if they release a season with two new heroes and people can't play it right away. That's that's just. Because the thing is, if they would have crystals and credits, it's basically the same thing Michael as like Rainbow Six Siege does. Up, oh, exactly like that donation says. <laughs> uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, thank you very much, Zitron friend. Uh, 20, 20 pounds, and it unlocks the new heroes instantly. And those people that don't have pass pay like twenty k credits. Exactly what I was gonna say. Like, if you can grind towards them, fine. But if you can get a shortcut by paying. I think that's also fine, you know, it's not locking content exclusively like a season pass does. All it does is basically, um, it gives you a shortcut by paying. But, if you grind, you can also unlock it on day one. So it's not even actually, actually even better 
than Rainbow Six Siege, I think. Because then it's like, you get it early and the rest of the people get it later. Whereas here it's going to be, you can get it early for free and you can get it early to pay. But you'll have to work towards it. So, I don't know. What's wrong with my eyes? I have pollen allergies and... I don't know, how red are they right now? They were a lot redder earlier today when I was outside. It's like, it's pretty painful, but... Uh, it's not 420, okay? Defend those positions for as long as you can. We'll need every second. I am a Swede, indeed. Well, if the leaks are true, we're getting Geonosis in August, then I'd be highly surprised if it was not Grievous. Well, he did say Grievous, he didn't mention Obi-Wan, but I'd guess they would be released at the same time. Uh, but they need to announce it, like, now. They need to have some really cool stuff in June to keep us occupied, hopefully in July as well. And they need to, like, tell us, okay? I know you've been waiting, I know you hate us, I know you're annoyed, but we have a really big drop in August, be patient, and here's some small content. Because that's the problem, so far they don't tell us, here's a little content, but this is what's coming. It's just like, oh, here's a little content, oh, here's a little content, oh, here's a little content, you know? Tell us if you have any big stuff. You should be working for new stations. <laughs> I don't know. I prefer I, I pr prefer to have my full editorial control, so to say, where I can also give my opinion. Exactly. If you add recycle maps, tell us that there are non-recycle stuff coming. Don't just be here's some recycle content, here's some recycle content, and then just keep doing that. Oh, I'm gonna get sniped, I'm gonna get sniped, I'm gonna get sniped, but that guy can't aim, lucky for me. Hold here. Computer room is under attack. Come on. Oh, I actually lost it. Oh man, hearing those evil corns, there's like flashbacks or nightmares from... Uh, nightmares from evil count, you know? Right, I'm gonna beat you. What? That thing did so much damage in such a short period. Rebels I've noticed that every time I get a little bit cocky and they'll like, have, I'm gonna kill you, I die. I need to stop doing that. Yeah, I agree, Dan, you can't. I, I, if it's... Yeah, I don't know. Some type of battle pass or season pass that does not like exclusively lock the content, but gives you like benefits and... Uh, and maybe early access and less grinding, it's fine. But it also needs to be to the point where it's not pay to win. But, which it wouldn't be if it was heroes and the heroes were properly balanced. So, Because like Finn and Phasma were fine. Uh, but if they released Grievous and Obi-Wan and they're both like super duper OP, then it's kind of pay to win, you know? Hello there! Oh! General Kenobi! Uh, 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 can, can anyone actually do a good General Grievous impression? Like, I've never heard anyone... Like, it's such a hard voice to mimic. But hello there, uh, Hank. Good to see you, man. Hope you had a good Eurovision celebration thingy yesterday. I'm glad I didn't watch it. <laughs> EA Play is... I think it starts June 9th. I'm actually landing on June 6th. So I am very curious on what I'll be doing there for two or three days in advance. I actually don't know, to be honest. <laughs> Yay, level 50. Nice. Walker Bay control is inoperative. Rebels are overriding. <laughs> oh, fall back, rip. I can do a convincing Palpatine voice apparently if that counts. I need to do like some type of competition or giveaway. Uh, where, where you guys need to send in your impressions. The, the people was better than the show. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Rapid fire, ready to go. Oh, oh, taste that. Boom, he went flying. Can't even see those guys. I'm just firing against the icons. Hoping for the best. Alright, let's, let's not die here. Yeah, I, I've seen, I feel like, hasn't the abilities kind of changed between the uh, uh, the different leaks for the Grievous? I, I really hope he doesn't have a stun ability as well, because I'm so tired of stun abilities.
Oh, oh, I didn't want to add one. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I ran over someone. I ran over another guy and I died. Well, I would call that a successful mission. Yippee! I'm hyped regardless. A little content is better than none. I don't blame them for being cautious after the microtransaction mishap. What the? Uh, the hell is going on? Okay, I'm, I'm going backwards now. I guess that's fine. Okay. Uh, man, these speeder bikes are incredibly glitchy. First of all, thank you, Iceberg, for the donation and those decimals. Much appreciated. <laughs> James Mansfield, thank you very much. I agree with you. Like, it's. People seem to be. A lot of people, at least, seem to be in the mindset where they add, either need to hate or love whatever they add. I'm like, I'm, I'm really disappointed in the last announcement, and they could have handled it so much better. Both in terms of what they actually released, and also with the way they didn't announce the rest. And they do, and they shouldn't have called it the solo season there. But I'm still excited to play Hero Showdown. I'm still excited to play Jabba's Palace. That was one of my favorite maps. Um, so like, you can be hyped and disappointed. There is something. There, it is a possibility. We're not Sith here who deals in absolutes, okay? Thank you, Devin. I appreciate it. I'm glad you think my streams are getting better, dude. Thank you. Actually, I think the hero... The, the, crea the creativity on the abilities in this game for the heroes is a lot better than last game. Like, I know... I see what you mean, Daniel. But, like, if I go, when I went back and played uh, a while back, I was like... Okay, this is just like Battlefront 2, the original Ola Rago. Again, when people when people wa look at it with rose-tinted glasses. Like, the heroes are so much smoother, the ragdolls are so much better. The abilities are actually more unique between e each hero here. It's far from perfect. It's still a lot of things I hate about the hero system. But compared to the last game, it is better, I think. And the, the reason to why it might not feel as satisfying, which is what I feel, is that basically every single ability in the last game one-shotted troopers. Every ability. But then the heroes also had a lot more health. They were like unstoppable, whereas in this game they're actually killable and you can actually survive against them. So uh, they, they're not as frustrating to me, you know? Thank you, Iceberg, for the donation again. And those decimals. <laughs> The, the donation train decimals, appreciate it, dude. Don't quit, kid, don't get cocky. My last tip should have said this message. Bugged out. Yeah, I don't know. Streamlab seems to be a little bit bugged out today. I don't know what's going on. And I just. Something happened. Alright, Devin. Alright, Devin. I'm glad that, that that is getting better as well, dude. Uh, I definitely consider branching out Just not I, I don't see like that's why I try to do more streams I try to do more IRL content or I will be trying to do more IRL content in the near future So like more so that people watch more for me than just for the for the news You know it's always gonna be a lot of people just watching for the news But the fact that I can make a cooking stream or I can make a, a random vlog and you guys still watch it means a lot to me uh, And I can stream some Fortnite and you guys still watch it that also means a lot so in terms of branching out at this point, it's going to be more about building my own brand and doing more IRL stuff. And then I will take it as it comes. If if Battlefront 2 makes a big, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say comeback, but almost like a comeback. Or if they announce a Battlefront 3, you know, there's re not really any point in me uh, <laughs> rebranding my channel, you know. Whereas if they don't do anything and it just dies out, well... Then I would rebranch to... I would still always have Battlefront on my channel. As long as that's ever relevant to talk about, Battlefront would always be the main thing. The only difference would be that if Battlefront... If they stop producing Battlefront games, if they stop supporting Battlefront games, I, I would change to a name that's probably referring to Star Wars or Geekness or my name in general. And then I would create Battlefront news. I would create exactly the same things I'm doing now, but I would also be more free to do other stuff. I would cover response game, which I will still do anyways, no matter if I change name or not, but I would cover other Star Wars games. I might even play some Fortnite. The thing is, I, at this point, even if this game dies, 
I have no interest in making video content about other games. I don't want to make news videos about Fortnite. I don't want to make news videos about PUBG. I want to play them on stream. Yes, but I would not want to make. Oh wait, there's. I would not want to make uh, news videos about them. You know. So that's my current plans. I guess I could say. I, I wasn't tempted to. Uh, If I, if I were to rebrand To name it something like Sheev Sheev as for a Star Wars fan They can see the reference and they, th they can think it's geeky and they can think it's stupid and they can think it's fun at the same time But if it's a, a non Star Wars fan that sees the name, they're just, they're just gonna think oh, that's a unique name uh, I guess that's what it's called, you know, so it would the Sheev would work even as a non Star Wars fan but I don't know if I would like. I don't want to call myself Sheev. Like I don't want to be like, "Hey guys, Sheev here." That just that sounds wrong. I don't know if there's any way to like just call it Sheev. Sheev is a name, so if that was the name of the channel, that would be kind of weird. That would basically be like Palpatine's channel, and I don't know. I mean, I have a freaking company not named after him, but uh, that would at least make it easier that that way, since I already have a company called Sheev Productions, but. Uh, Oh, thank you very much, James Mansfield, for the super chat. Oh, dude, I fully agree with you. I want the CA87 back. I'm so bummed that they put... Like, the Repulsor Cannon is a fun weapon, but they shouldn't have put it on the CA87 model, because I want a proper CA87. That was the most... That was my I would, that was my favorite weapon in the last game. Simple as that. SNN, Sheev News Network. <laughs> Yeah, again, I wouldn't want to brand myself as a news network, especially if streaming were to become a more important thing. But uh, something with Sheev would definitely be... Sheev, even Sheev Productions, that could even work. All the productions is not... It works as my company name, but I don't think Sheev... Sheev, Enter Sheev Entertainment. That, that could literally work. Sheev... Something like that. In the yeah, updates network is something that would be fun at some point. Like, but I wouldn't want to run those other channels. I'd just be a, like to be a manager for them. Like, say, hey, you make the Fortnite updates, you make the, make the PUBG updates. The money. Sorry, late to the stream today. We were out for Luke's mom's Nicola 40th birthday. I'll catch the VOD later. Thank you very much, David. Always good to see you here. <laughs> Nothing to apologize ma for, man. I hope you, Luke, and Nicola had a great birthday. And uh, tell her happy birthday for me. 40th birthday. That's. I hope you did had some really good celebration for that. I remember when my mom turned 40 as well. Uh, and my dad, actually. They turned 40 pretty close to each other. But uh, thank you, David. Always good to have you here. Uh, say hello to Luke and Nicola for me. Yeah, Danger Cat. It would take a lot of effort both like in terms of branding and the hardest part would be because like I pro pretty much need to pay people to do that finding people who are willing to put in professional effort in terms of being ready to make news videos all the time high quality content knowing what they're doing would be something you'd pretty much <coughs> have to pay for and I don't feel like I am ready to make an investment like that I like if this channel was booming maybe yes but now it's like just barely enough for me to make a living off you know uh, so I would not wanna spend money and time on that at this point I do not have simple as that but it's a good idea you're right it's a good idea Sheev updates <laughs> Sheev industries <laughs> you guys have to, if you ever come up with a, an idea for my channel name if I were to rebrand it just let me know guys Can someone ban that fake apple tart, please? Or double check that it's the fake one. It should be the fake one, considering that the real one is sponsored, unless it's been unsponsored. Sheev Gaming Updates. Uh, the thing is, updates... Well, I guess... Well, I mean, Star Wars games are probably always gonna be a thing. I feel like Battlefront is... Although, it's, it's gonna continue some way. And then we have, of course, Respawn's game. So, like, updates... 
I like my, I, li I really love the Battlefront updates for Battlefront stuff. But if I were to move into more streaming stuff, is that really a good name? She wars HQ. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Robin Roy would think about that. <laughs> Sheev Inc. That's pretty much my name right now. Sheev Productions Inc. My my company name. The gaming Sheev. The thing is, I'm trying to think like if the channel was called Sheev, do everyone? Because like, um, what are other channels called? They're, those are you usually don't have names. They have like Star Wars Explained, Star Wars HQ, Star Wars Theory, Star Wars. Um, Central or like uh, stupendous wave. It's not a name. It's like a name of the channel not a name of a person Which is why she is a little bit I don't know I, I, I couldn't say, do it productions. Yeah, <laughs> it's too meme. It's too meme Senate streams uh. She works for twitch, but not for YouTube. Yeah, that's 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 pretty true Shitty Swedish Sheev. That's like a, a freaking, uh, like, a, what was it called? Like the tongue twister. Hello Greedo is quite different. That's true. Hello Greedo. He has a perfect name, honestly. He has, like, that's, that, that's, he has, I would say in the Star Wars community, he has the best channel name. Because he has a name that you instantly refer to, uh, to Star Wars. But it's also a name. Like, it's not a... Brand, it's a name. It could be a brand as well. It's a, you can actually call. Oh, it's hey, it's Guido. Hey, it's Hello Guido. You know. Uh, so I think he has the best channel name in the Star Wars community. Hello, the course. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh wow, that sucks, Devin. What, what what did you eat in LA? Like, like some chipotle or I've heard Taco Bell is really bad for your stomach. Reason Network. Unlimited power streaming. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh, I got him. Gotta, lo gotta love that. Uh, I love that iron grenade. Man, I thought I was gonna have that guy. He got me good though. Let's go with some. Some officer now. But I don't think I need a shield when I'm defending. I'll take that for attacking instead. Palpa stream. <laughs> she put. She put. Yeah. She put. 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 <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense because like we're in Sweden. I'm talking Swedish. Unlimited power sounds like some Swedish geo geothermal power company. Hello, Sheev explained theory HQ. Yeah, that's that's a good one. The thing is, everything with the Senate is pretty funny. Like, it's it's, uh, uh, it's perfect calling you guys the senate and you, you're senators but if i were to call my channel something with senate like every time i hear oh the senate is questioning uh, uh zuckerberg i'm like no he's not no he's not because <laughs> uh the senate means something completely else in most most other uh circumstances Oh wow, that sounds really bad. That's, a, that's some really bad food poisoning if you need to go to the hospital. Like when I've had food poisoning, it's been like, I'm pretty sick for a couple of days. And you puke and diarrhea all over the place now, but <laughs> you see what I mean? That's the kind of food poisoning I've had, but I've never had it so bad that I need to go to the hospital. There must have been some really bad food in that case. Elliot explains Star Wars updates HQ. I like your... You, your you have some very good suggestions. I'll just take the best of all channels. Frank updates. Well, if I ever were to rebrand, it, it would be like I would. It would be uh, like I would think that through so much. I would discuss it so much with you guys. I'd probably like 
switch the name to like the new name in parentheses Battlefront updates, you know, but uh, Some people are like, oh, why don't you just start a new channel because I don't want to do things so differently from what I'm doing now I don't want to do From today on forward. I will be doing only Fortnite streams, you know, that's not what I want. What I want is to be able to do non-Battlefront content without being too locked by my name, but still having Battlefront and Star Wars content be my main stuff. Like, even when I covered Visceral Star Wars game, people were like, it's not Battlefront, it's not Battlefront. I know most of you were interested in that, but still, like, my name... Because, like, when when they start making more Star Wars games, like, when Re what, if, what if Respawn Star Wars game is the next big Star Wars game? Like, we're not talking just, oh, here's... A way out a really cool game that you play for a week and then you're done with it, but a respawn Star Wars game is the next uh, RPG that everyone plays or it's the next Titanfall but in Star Wars that's gonna be popular for years, you know Wouldn't it be weird if I'm called Battlefront updates and make five videos a month uh, five videos a week about that, you know That's that's like that game is probably not coming out for at least another year So I've got plenty of time to think about that, but you see my point even though I, I don't want to change my content that much but enough to possibly re warrant a rebrand sometime in the future uh, if that makes any sense I don't want to make Fortnite updates I don't want to make PUBG updates that not that's never been my intention and Star Wars updates is a bit too generic for me to be honest But again, in the current state, there's no plans to rebrand the channel. My my channel is still doing good. It is unfortunately actually losing subscribers lately, which shows the state of the Battlefront community. But the fact that I can bring in 50,000 views on a Battlefront news roundup, to me, shows that this game, or at least this channel, is far from dead. That's still really good. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change something that works. You know, don't change. Uh, it's, I don't know if there's a saying for that in English, but don't fix what's not broken, you know? That's Maybe that's the saying. That's kind of how I feel about my channel at the moment. I'll I'll, I'll get some I more IRL stuff, and I'm, I'm gonna kill this boss first. There we go. But I, I'm not gonna, like, mess something up that's actually doing really good, if that makes sense. But uh, this is... What I'm talking about is basically options for the future if... if Battlefront dies out, you know? To the point where I can't dedicate fully to that, but need to involve other stuff. I am I am losing subs actually. If you go to Social Blade, you will see that. I wa I, I checked Star Wars HQ's channel and they're losing even more subs, which shows that the Battlefront community is definitely not in a good shape. I would say. Uh, I don't know why I picked Lando, but uh, he's fun though. Uh, Yeah, I don't know if I'd have my if if I want to have my surname. <laughs> That's like I don't know. Like the ideal name for me would be something that's like basically think Hello Guido, but like it's it's ref it, it can easily be referenced to Star Wars or geek stuff. It does not limit me so, too much to what I do with my content. Oh wait. Oh, let's shock him. And you're dead. And also, it would somehow be... Like, especially if I changed... It would be great if it was linked to something people already relate to me, so to say. You know? Hello, Sheev. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not, I'm not gonna copy Hello Guido, okay? But he, I'm just telling you, he has a really good name that's linked fairly strongly to a brand. He can do whatever he wants. It's a personal name, you know? No, look at that triple kill! Beautiful. Oh, we're actually gonna win this now. That's not fun. I like the name of your second chan, Elliot Unleashed. Maybe we could switch that name. Shiva, I don't know. I I I was never 100% happy with Shiva. I mean, Elliot Unleashed. I always thought that was kind of weird, I guess. Come on. Shock him. 
Oh, he dodged that somehow. Ah, oh, and I'm gonna die. Um, but yeah, I wasn't always, I wasn't super happy with Elliot Unleashed, to be honest. Let me in. Oh, I thought we lost the game. I mean, won the game. How about Chef's cousin? Oh my god, is this still. Oh! Wait, wait. Uh, Maul just jumped down and died. Good job, dude. Well, there we go. Uh, thank you very much, Beck, for the super chat again. Much appreciated. How about Chief's cousin? What, what do you mean? What? What? Wait, should the channel be called Chief. Uh, Chief. Chief. <laughs> Chief Bane Productions. Well, at least you take my two favorite, my my two favorite uh, characters from the Star Wars universe. <laughs> Thank you, Apple Tard, for the donation. Sweet Swedish Beach Point ninety five. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Senate Games. She the sweet. Keep keep the suggestions coming. I like. I'm probably gonna shut shut down most of them, but at one day, one of you will come up with that name was gonna be like the perfect name you know uh, should we go for some objective play here for once let's get the uh, wait which cards do I currently have oh I'm gonna be quicker uh shit I'm no 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 I'm at the... ah! I hate how you can't oh well I think I might just rebrand myself as Yabnub <laughs> like danger cat that's a great name actually like, cause it's, it's unique, easy to remember, and, like, I don't know, it's a good name overall, for a, a good online alias, I would say. Switch to, I put everything on Sebulba. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Vebby, thank you for playing and for the super chat, see you later. No, Stefan, that's a horrible idea. Look at that damage, should I? Call my, as we call my, call my entire channel. Look at that damage. Hello, guys. So welcome back to Look at That Damage. I'm glad you liked the new stream look. Uh, Danger Cat made it indeed. Oh, my nose is just. It hurts like a bastard. I'm honestly surprised I've not had like any nosebleeds during the pollen season. Ah, oh, my nose is still hurting. I wonder how much, how many trees of paper I have used up the last month because of my allergies. Doctor Shevel. <laughs> Chris, that's thank you for the donation. That's actually a pretty good name, Doctor Shevel. I like it. Thank you, James Ma Man uh, Mansfield, again for the super chat. Updates unleashed. That's that's a good like if I want to it's a very good name If I, un unleashed updates updates unleashed Updates unleashed is definitely a good name if I wanted to make Star Wars news only like if that was if my main goal was Star Wars news, you know that that's that's what this is which it will always be like I always have Star Wars news, but it's not a very good streaming name, you know. I always, I, my goal is to build streaming more and more and more into my channel. Thank you very much, Foss Scout, for the donation. What's your opinion on sand? I don't mind it. I don't hate it, hate it as much as Anakin, I would say. But uh, uh, it's, it can be, it can be a little bit irritating, but not too much. Sour beer, Sheev. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name my channel Character Rouge. <laughs> Bowel front updates. That's just a temporary name. <laughs> 
Star Wars Unleashed. Well, that's a game already, so... No, that's Force Unleashed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Danger Dog. Yes, we got it. Danger Cat. Let's make some ch channels. Like, I'll, I'll be, uh, I don't know. What do you call it? I will be on... The, the Danger Network. Danger Dog. Danger Cat. Danger Sheep. Elliot's Palace. Actually, I think my... I actually had a... I don't know if you guys remember. But my Facebook page was actually called the Battlefront Palace before. Until I changed it to Battlefront Updates. I don't know why I called it that. That guy sucks. Sheev Shriv. Sheev Shriv Cad. Cad will take like all the best characters at once. Shriv. Shriev. S-H-R-E-E-V. It's a mix of Shriv and Sheev. Hello there, Polsky. Good to see you, man. We're talking about if I were to rebrand. Uh, if Battlefront dies out. Or if I'm gonna start incorporating more Star Wars games. Which I, which I kind of already am. But, like, if, re if the next Star Wars game that becomes big is Respawn Star Wars game. Which is obviously not gonna be ba Battlefront. I, I feel like I need to rebrand. Because being called Battlefront updates and making a lot of videos about other games is weird. So we're, we're just, like... We're, we're coming up with mostly bad ideas for what my channel could be called. Uh, if I were to rebrand sometime like next year or, so, or something like that. High ground updates. I know our, our cycle Thor. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I know you like heroes versus villains, but I just like Galactic Assault the most. Suit Earl. That's, that's like a weird way of saying sour beer, basically. Hello there, Mr. Heavy. Thing is, as much as I think like updates unleashed or like something with like Star Wars, Dengar Cat, that, oh man, why didn't you call yourself Dengar Cat? Oh, let's go Maul here. I need to level him up. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, th I I don't think I need to be called Battlefront Updates to make Battlefront News. Like, I will always, as long as there is Battlefront News, I will always cover that. No matter what my name of the channel is. But I think if I want to do more and more streaming like, like I do now, right, right now, I think it's probably a good idea to have a more personal name, so to say. I never, I don't regret picking Battlefront updates, it has served me very well, to say the least, but if I want to, I would probably not have been, ha, have, oh my god, I'm still gonna die, I would not have had as big a channel as I currently have if I wasn't called Battlefront updates, I think. Dennis Brandval, what? Is he in the chat, or are you talking about... Calling my channel, then it's Pemba. I dare someone to sponsor this channel. Thank you for daring them. I dare you guys to join the Senate. Do you dare become a senator and join this fine ensemble of people? I'm thinking so much it hurts. <laughs> it's such a tricky balance finding that name that works for, uh, uh, for all, all the things I brought up basically. Really, Danger Cat? <laughs> yeah, I know. My channel has. That's the thing. That's why. That's why. As long as Battlefront is alive, as long as I can get like 30 or 40 thousand views on a news update, there's no reason for me to change. Like, like, it's. I, I love the position I have where like I'm. This one of the go-to Battlefront news channels, and I'd love to keep it that way. But I need to. I need to think ahead. I can't just be one day. Oh wait. 
Battlefront just died. They stopped supporting the game and they haven't announced a new one. What am I gonna do now? I'd rather have a backup plan at that point, if you know what I mean. Um, but again, this rebrand that we're discussing is not for short term. It's something I do for long term, but it doesn't hurt discussing it now. No, Polsky, I'd, I'd probably like <coughs> like to keep, <coughs> keep it um, generic enough that I can cover other games. But, but maybe with a focus on sci-fi and Star Wars, I don't know. Like, I guess... That, that's kind of why... Like, the thing is, okay, in, the, in this current state right now, if Battlefront died or was not enough to be a main content on the channel, I would like to make my video content probably only Star Wars gaming, but my streams would be everything, basically. A little bit like you do. Um... Because I have no interest as of right now. I have no other game franchise that I'm as interested in as I am with Star Wars games. Like PUBG, Fortnite, I like playing it, but I don't I don't wanna like go in depth about every little news update, you know? Battlefront is still at this point the game I play the most. Um so I don't know, it's tricky. I think Sheev would be the best of both worlds. I, I agree. Sheev is a good name because of the fact that if you're not a Star Wars fan, you're just going to think it's a name of a channel. You're going to think it's a name that you might not have heard before. You might think it's sound weird, but it's a name, you know? But if you're a Star Wars fan, you will recognize it and be like, oh, Sheev, that's Palpatine's first name. But I, I can't call myself Sheev. Like, I am not Sheev. I can't take Palpatine's name, you know? I, the channel could be called that, but... I don't know, it's tricky, it's tricky. Easty, yeah, I'm, I should just rebrand to Easty. Westy covers Battlefront, Easty covers... Uh, wait, isn't there a guy already called Easty? I think. Or, or something like that. Similar, similarly. Sheev films. Well, Sheev, Sheev, yeah, Sheev films would work. Yeah, I, I guess Elliot Unleashed is not, it's not that bad. But I, I've never, I've never really liked it. I was kind of like when I made a channel, I was basically in the same situation like now. I, I just could not come up with a good name. So I was like, I just need a chance to throw some random. I, I think I made like a Destiny video, some, like I built some random. Uh, I don't know, whatever it was, I don't remember the game, like the building game and where you build like tanks and stuff, like random stuff like that, but I, I'm never really, and I was never 100% happy with Elliot Unleashed. Worldwide updates, I don't know about that. Enterprise sounds more like a company name, a bit like she... A bit like Sheev Productions, you know? And, and that's also one of the main reasons to why splitting up to a new channel would also be really bad in terms of streaming. Like having two different stream channels for like everything when it comes to donations, to sponsors, to features you get on YouTube, uh, like the badges, it would make absolutely zero sense for me to stream on two different channels. Uh, that would be like a really, really bad move, you know? Galactic updates was actually something I think someone suggested a few months back when I discussed this. Galactic updates is a really good name for new, actually, that, that's one of. I think that was one thing I. I remember I talked about that name before. It's a really good name, for like if I were if I were if I were to make a channel now, that was gonna be. This is just gonna be news about Star Wars and maybe like Marvel and stuff. Galactic updates is perfect because it's it's it hints towards Star Wars, but it would really work with any like kind of sci-fi universe. Uh, but I I don't know if like. Oh, hello there, Galactic Updates here, streaming. <laughs> if that is a good idea. Maybe? I mean, maybe it's not as important. Like, I, I don't call myself... Well, I do, I do call myself Battlefront Updates, I guess.
Push, guys. Push, push, push. Oh, rip. What? I think so, Shuko. I, I haven't, again, I haven't decided. It's all up in the air. That's why moving to Twitch for the streaming side would have been pretty good. Because then I could have had an updates name here on YouTube. Like Galactic Updates. And then had a, a more personal name on Twitch. But they offered a pretty bad deal. So I was like, no. I'm going to keep on YouTube. YouTube. YouTube streaming is going great. There, again, there's no reason to fix something that ain't broke, you know? But if they were to offer me an incredible deal that makes no sense to turn down to, well then I may, might try out Twitch, but at this moment they did not pull through on that. Thank you David Moran, Emperor Palpy Streams. Again, I think that's a little bit too specific. It's a pretty good name overall, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Narwhal Sheep. Grand Moff Elliot. <laughs> Galactic Moff. Galactic Grand Moff. No, I don't know. <laughs> Yippee! Do you think it would be a good idea for DICE to re release the Battlefront 2015 for? Battlefront 2017. What do you think? Thank you very much, Nathan K, for the super chat. Much appreciated. Uh, oh, Mall again. Um, you mean re, re release the whole game? No, I don't. The thing is this it is like it is a lot cheaper to reuse assets, but people underestimate the work that Yippee! still goes into uh, importing old maps making it work game mode wise and the, the game is obviously built completely different to this time like don't get me wrong reusing assets is still a lot cheaper than making content from scratch but at this point they they need fresh content they can't just be re that's something re-releasing a game or a tons of that content is something that could be a good idea to do once you've satisfied the need of new content but not instead of doing that you know thank you arsaka thor for the super chat Heroes versus villains hater updates. I don't hate it too much. I kind of do, but I'm hoping I will hate it less or I will dislike it less after the patch next week where they are gonna fix the stun locks or at least improve them. <laughs> Respawn updates. Well, then we're back into those uh, like uh, locking myself into a game, you know? Sheave the Swede. <laughs> Man, I can't really do anything. What, what am I supposed to do right now? Oh my god, like one one force choke and you lose your entire health. Um that's just fun. Danger Cats battle station updates. <laughs> Is there a Battlefront 2 Discord channel? Well, I have one channel for Senators, and then there's also a, a, a Battlefront um, subreddit Discord that has like a thousand people, I think. If, <laughs> if they don't fix Saber Locks, I will eat my cat's food and make Gyar watch. <laughs> Wait, I need to screenshot that. I will... I will... <laughs> Wait, did, you didn't give any timeline though. Like, are you talking forever or are you talking just... If they don't fix it in the next patch. Man, that's some li look how little XP I got with Maul for those two lives.
Hmm. I did get the burst rifle, yeah. You're right. Let's try some close quarters specialized for fun. <laughs> See how it goes. The high grounder. <laughs> My timeline if is indefinite. So that means that you well you need to set a timeline. When is when is Daniel Cat gonna eat cat food? That's the question. Together. The Empire's been tipped off about us selling both eyes. Battlefront lore master. Well, now we're getting close to lore. It's already a lore master. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about playing the specialist here, but let's try. Ika or Coop, thank you Brunsville Films for the, the super chat. I would pick Ika over Coop. I, overall I like Ika more. Their products Yippee! are better. But I, I don't I don't like I'm not too picky, okay? Thank you, Nathan, for the super chat. I meant DLC, sorry. Uh yeah, uh okay, I'm well that's still that's still kind of like it would take less time, yes, but it still kind of brings back the last point of it's not a simple import, you know? So maybe at some point, like maybe if they add extraction, like the rumor is, um, but maybe not all of them. Not just like, oh, here's outer rim again. The first stream after you get back from EA Play is my timeline. Okay, so that's basically just gonna be one patch. It's only the April, no May patch. The June patch will probably not be out. At least I'm guessing it's not gonna be out until that. So if they, basically, if they don't fix it, if they don't fix Sabelox next week, Dandy Cat is probably gonna eat some cat food and and make Guillaume watch it. <laughs> yeah, I, that, I, I, Johannes, I. That's true. Like. The current situation when the progression system is where we won a battle and lost the war. It's it's a good... Uh, I don't know. It's... it. I can see the point behind it. I'm fully willing to go on camera on stream and eat it. But if you do that, we can... Uh, we can send your feed to my stream so I stream out Danger Cat eating cat food. I will totally... I will totally stream that on my channel. Now it's like... I don't know what I want. I want Stunlock's fix, but I also want to see Daniel Cat eat cat food on the stream. Uh oh. Really? Where am I taking damage from when I'm in here? Seriously. Oh my god, there's so many. Nine health. I think that's a lot of damage, though. I will probably be at Com Comic Con. I think my network can get me free tickets. I don't know if I'm gonna be there as an like, I don't know what you call it, as <laughs> as a guest, like I was la <coughs> last year when they freaking put my face in the subway ads. That was pretty funny, actually. That was a very interesting experience. I was very surprised when someone sent me the first picture, like, "Oh my God, you're in the subway!" I was like, "What?" But yeah, I hope I'll be at, uh, hope I will be again at Comic Con this year. Running uh oh, oh yeah, Vanguard versus Infiltration. I really love how you can see people here. It's so good with the freaking. Holy shit, the, man, the, the infiltration is actually really good. But I'm getting so little points, though. From now on, you call your network the Senate. <laughs> yeah, the Senate. <laughs> yeah. Wet cat food. I mean, how bad can it be? A can of tuna is pretty good. I mean... Isn't that technically cat food? Junkyard slipping away. 
Let's go for another infiltration push. Oh, there's a lot of people around here. Let's see if I can get a flank. Or I'm just gonna die from... Flank, flank, flank. Close quarters place. I mean, I have a lot of close quarters. I can melee. When my infiltration is off cooldown, I can just run around with my shield and melee people. Because I think I equipped a stealth card, right? Let's do a little flank here. A little flanky flanky. Now let's go back with the infiltration. This guy is going to die on my hands. Or he's going to die from someone else. Where is everyone, though? Oh, right here. Let's flank him, flank him, flank him. Oh, you are dead, my friends. Easy, easy. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm actually really liking this. Because, like, I have so many options. I have my burst rifle that's pretty good. But then also my melee that I can, like, one shot or two shot. And then I also have the infiltration that I can, like, scout people out with. It's It's perfect. Very good loadout. Let's attempt something a little bit stupid here. Oh wait, you can block my melee, never mind. One time I ate cat food without knowing, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Don't like fish though, so tuna will be torture. <laughs> Tuna is good. Maybe not just to eat out of a can, but like tuna pasta or tuna salad is good. Good evening, River Th Thames. Still practicing on pronouncing your name. <laughs> well, let's see if I can get Vader now. He's gonna wreck this place. I'll focus on the infantry and he can handle that. Melee. No, he shot my shield. That was quick. Hello, deserted. I'm doing very good, thank you. Except for some pollen allergies, otherwise good. Milk before cereal updates. Yeah, that's a, that's also a new potential rebrand. Rivashiv, hello updates. You guys are coming up with some oddly specific names for my channel. All right, let's go here. I'm ready with that flank. Ooh, let's go with full on melee. Here we go. Melee! Where is everyone? There's one. What? No, he was it! How can he? I hit him two times and he didn't take any damage. I hate that rolling bug. It's so annoying. Got your back. Rename the Star Wars HQ. Yeah, that that's probably not a good idea. They nearly have the junkyard. We need to retake it now. What is going on? We're 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 uh, we're we're, uh, we're figuring out a backup plan for my channel, basically. If Battlefront dies down, and I want to keep doing Star Wars gaming news and streams, <coughs> such as <coughs> Respawn's respawn game, the junkyard is enemy territory. Uh, what would be a good name, basically? I'd never, I never stop doing Battlefront content as long as that's still re relevant. But if res if Respawn's game turns out to be the next big Star Wars game that everyone plays for a year and everyone's gonna love it, well, then I would, uh, it would be weird to be called Batman on this. Damn, that hit me in the feels. It's still only a future backup plan. I'm still pretty confident, like, if I can still rack in 30 or 40 or 50,000 views on a news update like I can right now, I am not gonna change anything. I am uh, very happy with that. But, yeah. You never, you never know what happens in the future. Is Visceral's game still happening by another developer? I mean, kind of. It sounds like uh, EA in, what is it, Vancouver took that project over. But those kind of games are not the kind of games that I would... I would not take them into consideration when rebranding my channel. Because a single player game is something you make videos about up until release. Then you make videos about it for like a week or two and then it's dead, you know? Um, whereas... Uh, if Respawn's game... <coughs> well, they did say it was an action-adventure game though, so that might also be something that's a, a single-player game. But if that's more like a... 
a destiny in Star Wars, you know? Then that's something that's more considered as like something you can make a lot of content with. This spaceport, Mos Eisley, is hoped to elite. Honestly, if Slave Leia is released, I may lose all my respect. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, Ben even. The only thing out of all those leaks he went out and confirmed was we're not working on a Slave Leia skin. <laughs> Galactic Gaming. Yeah, yeah. Could also work. Really? You don't like my logo? That's a new one, actually. Okay, if I rebrand it, I'd probably gradually change my logo. How are they Oh. There we go. Secure in the cantina. Well, that was way too easy, I would say. You're mine! No! Uh oh. <laughs> Definitely get to say. Yeah, probably. For your Rodian. Well, watch your back, dude. Woo! No, I could have had them both there. I should have shot that guy first. Oh, I have a lot of. Let's go. Uh, who do I need to level 25? Vader. Let's go cap that left one with Vader. He should be pretty good there, I think. Let's get up on the roof. Let's hope we don't get like sniped into oblivion by I don't know what something. Okay, I've already lost way too much health. What? What? I can't move! Flashbang is like. Flashbang disables Vader for moving. That's just. That's just great, you know? Like those blasters. Oh, almost got him. Man, they're, they're doing so much damage. Please remove flashbang from game. Yes. Ooh, that was a nice decapitation. What? I should have. Wait, what? I don't even know what happened right there. I got like hit. Oh, let's not walk into that mine. Holy oh, shit. Let's get past that. Oh, really? Really? Wanna do that? Where'd they go? Oh my god, please, ship, leave me alone! Seriously. Delete vehicles from this game. Again, that's why the Death Star is by far the best map. There's no bullshit there. Taking so much damage, but I can't figure out from where. I wonder if I even have the healing star card on Vader equipped. Uh, wait, he does have a healing star card, right? Or maybe he doesn't. How are they doing so much damage? It's like every hit does 200 health. It's Jesus. I'm getting absolutely obliterated with the Dark Lord. Well, at least I'm getting some kills now. I still have like 
60% of what most other heroes have. It just looks like you have so little health. Someone is doing a pretty good job putting up those mines, that's for sure. Can I destroy them with Vader somehow without walking into them and like taking... I should be able to destroy them with the force, but... Uh... <laughs> Riva, yeah, that's gonna be pretty fun. I like Vanguard. I need to get up here and clear this place out. There we go. Let's clear this place out. Are you ru gonna keep running from me? There we go. Now it's cleared out. Vader has arrived. Oh, I did get some health back. Nice. Yeah, I agree that Boba... I think Boba and Han... They'll be fitting if they both got a healing card in the solo season, to be honest. Ubering home from a moonshine bar at Disney World, Sunday fun day. Man, you seem to be doing so mu having so much fun, Sean. You're traveling to a lot of cool places. and I want to go to Disney World as well. Maybe... I don't know. If they have Star Wars Celebration in Orlando again, I'm going to get like, an extra week there and go to... to oh wait, they've got a hero somewhere. Let's kill him. Her or him. Who is it? Oh, it's, it's Ray, isn't it? Or... No, it's Lando. Yeah, Uber is great. I use Uber a lot. I never use cab in Sweden. What? Oh, is that a... Vehicle? Probably. It doesn't get very expensive. I mean... Yeah, but me... It, it gets expensive taking any cab service, but if you mean compared to... If you mean compared to... Holy shit! If you mean compared to cab, it's cheap. But compared to like taking the subway, then yeah, it's expensive. I mean, I take subway or bus most of the time, but if it's like late or inconvenient to take something else, then I'll... I'll take something else. I mean, then I'll take the uh, Uber. Uh... 140 pounds on an uber trip. Holy crap. How long was that? I don't even know how much six miles in is in your... I was about to say American measurements, but I realized you guys have your English measurements. How much is that in, in Swedish miles or European miles or whatever you say? I need to get some heels going here. Can you go in here? I mean, Vader is good indoors, so let's go. Uh oh, okay, so there's actually quite a lot of people here. Holy crap, what is... What is... How did he deal 500 damage in less than a second when I'm in the air? I, I just don't... I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, I got a, a fair amount of kills there, so I'm not complaining, but still. UK miles are the same as EU miles. No, they're not. I'm pretty sure it's not. 10 kilometers is one mile here. Explosive power building. Hold the area. Exactly, Sean. <laughs> exactly. Don't drink and drive. Take an Uber instead. I don't think 10 kilometers is one UK mile. Well, I know it's probably expensive with Disney World, but I still think it was worth it. I do not play Galaxy of Heroes. I don't play any mobile games, really. One meal equals six UK miles. Wait, so you ha so you went ten kilometers and you paid 140 pounds for it? What? That can't be right. What is this book doing? Dying, I guess. Oh my god. The rebels are desperate to disarm those charges. Go blur Yeah. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I need to try Fat Five, guys, when I go to EA Play, that's for sure. Well, GG. Good job, Command Elixium. We did well. I, I, did, I did actually make a video about Star Wars Commander. Oh, okay, fair enough. Then you get... I can, uh, yeah, the, uh, the same thing as if you go take an Uber on like uh, New Year's Eve, it's gonna be like super expensive. That flashbang has to go, I agree, Riva. Like, it's beyond me how much it does. Why did Knappen just tweet me a couple of eyes? What? And then, it, and then it deleted it. I'm so Why confused. are you always trying to block a grenade explosion with a lightsaber? It won't protect you. Thank you. Thank you, Arcycle. It's more like there's a thousand things coming at me, and I'm using block. I'm not. I'm not trying to block that individual grenade. Trust me, I'm not that stupid. Okay. <laughs> it's more like there's a lot of things coming at me. Shit! What do I do? Block. Um. But why? Can, can someone explain to me why Knappen tweeted me a couple of eyes and then deleted it? I, I like. I got a notification because obviously I'm following following him, but for some reason. He deleted it when I clicked it. What is Knappen onto? I am confused. Don't have long. Our ships blow up Star Kill or get blown up themselves in the next few minutes. Meantime, now's our only chance to break. Well, I missed it in that case, or cycle her. Do what we can. Oh yeah, link on you. That's Go probably a good idea. I need to get Vader to epic so I can get it all, all of this card epic. I mean level 25 and then get epic. Oh well. Yeah, maybe this is not the best sniper setup. Yeah, Justin, I would. As much as this game has flaws, I still think it's a lot of fun. I love the game, and uh, just because it isn't perfect, it doesn't mean you. Or that, but just because it has issues doesn't mean I can't. That's the thing. The only current issues, like all the current problems the community has with the game, is with future content and lack of future content. It's not about the current version of the game absolutely sucks, you know? Because it doesn't. They fix the progression. Uh, there's still bugs, there's still like hero combat for instance that I'm not a huge fan of still, but overall it's a really good game. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to, uh, to make something for a living if I didn't enjoy it, you know? Then I could work with coding, which I also like. And probably make more money. Since coding pays really well. Do you play this game in your free time, like off stream? Occasional. It depends a little bit, because uh, I, I do like I like, do like to play this game off stream. I don't know if it's because I talk too much with the chat or if I'm just not concentrating enough. But whenever I, <coughs> whenever I play off stream, I have more fun gameplay wise, because I do so much better. Uh, and then I can also play with friends and like talk, you know, just. Uh, over Discord and such, but lately, I mean, lately when I've been streaming three or four times a week, three or four hours a time, I have not been playing that much off stream because there's not been not lot there's not been a lot of new content for a long time to this game, except for like EU account and stuff, which isn't really replayable, you know. So at the moment, I am not playing a lot off stream because my friends are also like a bored of the game, I would say, so they don't play it that much either so when I whenever I play off stream I tend to play PUBG or Fortnite or Counter-Strike actually you can make your own custom CSS stream boss then well I've never used CSS or HTML I've coded okay yeah, I mean I could probably look into it I mean since I understand code pretty well I did, I did like I don't well I could definitely look into the code and understand it and see what I can adjust. I could probably couldn't code one from scratch, but I could I could take a look. Uh, are you looking forward to play any game this year? Um, well, the new Battlefield game, definitely. Well, well whatever that is. Um, I don't know. Are, have they announced? Is that what's that Marvel game called? Marvel, the Marvel Project, or I don't remember what it's called. I don't I don't know if they confirmed when that's coming out. 
but uh, that's something I'm, I'm curious about. We don't know a lot about it, so it could be not something I'm interested in. Um, but yeah, I don't know what other games are, what other games are coming out this year. But seriously, we're not finding a single person to kill. I've got two kills and we're past the second phase. Avengers Project, yeah. What languages do you code in? I I know Java and C Sharp and I've done a bit of C++ but I hate it. Oh, Anthem. Yeah, Anthem seems like Anthem could be something I'm, I'm really interested in. We'll see. Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know. I haven't played... I've, I've played Red Dead Redemption a little bit with a friend, but... I don't know, not, not something I'm honestly excited for, if I'm gonna be honest. I don't play a lot of single player games. I know you can play multiplayer as well, but it's still based in single player, I would say. That's why I play literally like Battlefront 2, PUBG, Fortnite, Counter Strike. It's like literally all multiplayer. Is this, the, this must be like the most boring. Open that door, I dare you. Open that door, I dare you. Open the door. Oh, he saw me now. Woo! Last of Us. Man, I actually still haven't played Last of Us. There's few, there's few single player games on my to playlist, but Last of Us I've heard so much good about that I feel like I need to play it. I just can't, I don't know. Whenever I give single player games a go, I'll play it for like an hour, then I just oh, I wanna go back to multiplayer and play, you know? I don't know. It doesn't give me the same satisfaction. It needs to be a really good story or something that really like makes me get stuck in the game like Portal 1 and 2 did. Uh, with really fun mechanics as well. Life is strange. I don't think. Wait, what was that game called? There was one single player game, for instance, that also caught. Yeah, I think it. it, it see, now that I think about it, it kind of feels like it has to do a lot with. Like, the, the gameplay mechanics. Because I played uh, a game called. Uh, the story. A story about my uncle. And that's also a bit like. It's not like Portal, but it's kind of like a puzzle game. There is some action and stuff, but overall, it's about figuring out how the mechanics works and, like, getting further and further at the same time as you have an interesting story um, so that's why like games like uh, a story about my uncle portal 1 and 2 those are like some of my uh, 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 some of my favorite games single player games <laughs> we need to talk next time this is no v gord experience <laughs> last of us is next level but single player and multi yeah I, like that's a game i think i'll pr I'd probably enjoy it considering uh, but I think with the, at the time, because that's only for PlayStation, right? And I think when they released that, I didn't have a PlayStation. And then I got a PlayStation, and I was like, oh, I should play that. But then I, I never did it, you know? Um, but yeah, for sure. We need, we need to play some games as well, dude. Next time you're in Stockholm, let me know. We, we should meet up and have some Vigorda, because that's the best burger in town. Uh... Did you put that clip in the vlog, by the way? I didn't. I haven't checked it out yet. It was just like a, I don't know. If, it might not even have been worth it, considering how short it was. <laughs> Wait, which map? Same map again, I think. Yeah. Mm. This goes. This is actually a good S5 map, I would say. But let's not go with the shield. Let's. Oh, too late. <laughs> The resistance dares much Halo, I, lo I love it. I, I played. I have Halo 1 and 2 to my original Xbox, and I played Halo 3 at a friend's Xbox. But I don't know why. I think Halo 3 it started getting not as good, so then I heard Halo 4 was even worse, and then I, I kind of lost interest. I'd, I'd honestly guess Leia would be 80,000. 80, I don't think it makes sense to go from 10k to 20k. 40k to 50k, maybe 60k could be the one, but 60 or 8, 60 or 80,000 is my guess for legendary skins. Oh, fair enough, man. V, I, I can't. I'm still surprised, you guys. I think you need to compare you compare the value. Like, I would love to hear if you guys could find a burger that is around the same price with like, including. Uh, the delicious 
sweet potato fries and still be better. I don't know. A Halo show would be really cool. There's so much story to... to uh, actually, I watched... Uh, Someone made like a really thorough video covering all the Halo games lore up until now and I, I just by watching that I still got so confused about the story after Halo 2. Update is coming out on Wednesday, so expect loads of streams on Wednesday like always. I don't know, 100,000 would be a little bit too steep for legendary skins, to be honest. But, uh... I hope they don't, I hope they don't get that desperate for, for money, but they would charge 100,000 credits for a legendary skin. Oh, please! Please put Peter Jackson in as a, a writer for the t Lord of the Rings TV series. Like, I, I'd seriously, like, again, if, talking about the rebranding thing. If that, was, if that became a thing, I'd talk about that on my channel. Because um, I love Lord of the Rings. I've read all the books and the Hobbit book. Uh, I, I need to get into the Silmarillion and those stuff. I'm assuming it could, if if that TV series were to cover Silmarillion, I'd definitely read it before that. How much is a hundred thousand in real money? I think fifty thousand. No, I mean fifty dollars. Sorry, fifty dollars for a skin is just too much. No, 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 wait, no, no. Sorry, no, wait, it is. No, it is fifty dollars. No, 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 it's not. Sorry, I'm doing the math completely off. It's, wait, so the most expensive skin right now is $10. Which means that would be $20. $25. 100,000 credits would be $25, I think. At your side. So that's basically like the most expensive skins in Fortnite. I love Lord of the Rings lore, but I could not finish the Silmarillion. I've heard it's pretty tough to get through. That's probably why I haven't started, but uh, I don't know. Uh, like, th th that's what I'm talking about, me playing so badly when I'm playing on stream. Like, I'm on complete autopilot right now to the point where like, when I spawned right now, I didn't even know if I'd killed anyone in this game, because I'm focusing on the chat and discussing, discussing with you guys. Because... I find that to be interesting and fun. Yeah, twenty-five dollars. It has to be it, like it has to be really good legendary skins, you know. Turbo laser clear. Area. That that's good. Like I like how Dangy Cat watched the Lord of the Rings for the first time. Uh, recently, and it's only the one. Only the ones to watch it again. Did you watch the? Uh, uh, did you watch the extended? By the way, I don't quite remember. I mean, I know twenty-five dollars for skin is pretty steep because that's that's basically what Fortnite charges. Um, but they are free-to-play games, so you need to take that into consideration. But uh, on the other hand, the big difference is that it's skins. It's skins. You're not obligated. You're not like they, they haven't promised you free skins and. You can still get them for free. Even if they were $25 in Battlefront 2, I think the big main difference to Fortnite is that you can get them for free. In Fortnite, you cannot. Uh, you need to pay for them, like at least with a Battle Pass. Whereas here, you can, if you're a good player, you can definitely grind up to those things. So even though the, the price is high, if it's $25, probably, if it's $80,000, that's $20. It's still like... It's still to the point where you can't get it for free, which you can't in Fortnite. Uh, we all want more skins, man. Hopefully, it will start rolling out. I mean, it's in there. If they want to prove EA that they can make money, pump out those skins. <laughs> Riva Thames, if they if they do that, I will I will I will literally make a video banging my head in the in the in the wall. Honestly, I, I would I would not be opposed to them like 
if this game does a little bit of a comeback or at least if they can push out some good content to keep it alive if they then were to make this game free to play uh, at maybe like the anniversary of the game if they were like okay we have proven that we can make ma some good money from skins let's go all the way and make the game free to play let's add like a battle pass ish thing that gives you early access to stuff let's add let's add non gameplay affecting affecting stuff but still more than skins I don't know, like, I'm trying to think if other games have done that and if there will be a problem where people go I paid for this game, you can't make it free to play They have done it with like Battlefield, but then it's usually years later and not while they still support it So I don't know if the making this game free to play would work that way But I think if they could bring in a lot of new players Why not? Oh, really? Really, okay Okay, that's what you want, I'll, I'll, I'll get you later um, but yeah, I would, I would personally not mind that. I would not care. Like, I don't care that the game is in a $20 sale right now. Don't shoot me. I just spawned. And I get defeated. Oh, I love this game. <sighs> Screw that. I guess we're just going to have spawn camping by lay on the ground and spawn camping by ships in the air. Fun. That's what I call fun. People will complain about immersion if they add too many skins. At some point in the future, yeah, potentially. But if they add a lot of new characters, they can also add a, new, a lot of new skins. Oh, isn't that fun? I have four health left. This is so much fun, guys. Look how much fun. This, this is my fun face. When I get spawn killed in the air and I get spawn killed on the ground. The hardest hitting pistol in the galaxy, that's for sure. Why didn't they just use that to like destroy a Starkiller base? I'm just gonna go for Leia. Disgusting piece of camper. Oh, the shield is broken. Break the shield! Break the shield! Break it! Break it down! There we go. Kill her. Do it. Do it now! Die. Oh, she's almost dead. I can't aim! Oh my god, one more hit and she's dead. No, 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 don't you dare. I don't care if this is outside of bounds. I'm gonna kill... So close. Can I get a ship, please? There we go. No? Okay. Wipe her out. Did she die yet? No, she's still alive. I'm gonna go for her again. But now it's gonna be too much people in the way, I think. I can't believe she's still alive. I could, that's disgusting. There she is. I need a ship. Can the ships please bombard her? Right, I'm coming for you, Leia. I wonder how much health she has been able to regenerate, because I can't take out like 300 health. Can you... What, whoever is in the air, give me a ship or kill Leia, please. What do I do? Sniping is... Wait, how much damage does the Disruptor Rifle do against the... Shield, that's the question. Is she still alive? I think so. Got your back. I will kill her. I will do it now. Wait, was ship available? God damn it. Well, they're gonna lose this game because they have a Leia camping in the back doing no good for them. Of course the ship became available when I was look fixing around my... Not anymore. We still have Leia. Ah, uh, yeah, Jump Trooper. That's a good idea. Thank you. Let's go with Light Jump Trooper. <laughs> right, let's try this. I only have 200 health, so she's probably gonna snipe me out of the sky with that disgusting pistol. But let's try anyways. She's gonna see me coming from... Oh, she's all the way in the back still. She's 
snipes me out of the sky. I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh my god, look how much health still. Yeah! Oh my god. 16 health. Can someone just kill that B? Ouch. 16 health. No, wait, I'm gonna go with another one. Oh, I got the specialist. So close. Yes, she died. I think so, please. Or maybe some hero died. I don't remember what her name was, or his or her. But I think so. No, Captain Phasma is defeated. She's still... No, I, for I forgot to switch weapon. I forgot to switch weapon. I equipped the right attachment, but I forgot to switch weapon. My goal, my only goal is to kill Leia right now. Only goal. They better not cap this now, so, this, so I can't be out there. But she has 16 health. How is no one else shooting at her? Seriously. Don't die. Don't you dare shoot shoot me down from. Don't you dare shoot me out of the sky, please. Let me. <laughs> ah. Yes, come on. Please, let me finish this now. Please. I swear. If I get shot down, no one respawn. If I get shot down, no one respawn. I swear. Where is she? Don't- No! No! Don't kill me! I- I s- ah! No, they're gonna cap it! I can't- This stupid thing just fell off from the chair. I- Alright, let's- let's go. They're, if they cap this, I'm gonna be so mad. How she- How she full- Full- She has full health. She healed up from 16 health. To full health. Great balance. Great balance. Stand in the back of the map, spawn kill people and get full health. Oh, some things in this game I just I just don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> that is what I call gameplay balance. Standing at the back of the map shooting projectiles that locks onto anyone and one shots you across the map and gives you health if that's not balanced then i don't know what is balance balance that's perfectly balanced that's all things should be i need to get that on my stream deck i'm gonna do that as soon as i end the stream oh come on oh wow well, Finn is pretty much dead. Let's get a flame trooper. Let's take him. Well, Eduardo, I don't blame you for doing that. You're not you. Well, I blame you a little bit for spawn camping in the back, but it shouldn't be possible. Simple as that. It shouldn't be possible. The special operative is deployed to the battlefield. Yeah, I know, Colin. It's perfect for stream highlights. <laughs> I'm glad I could help Apple Tart. Holy crap, that's a lot of people. That better kill someone. Oh, yep, there we go. Double kill. That's what I'm talking about. Triple kill, nice. Get roasted. Resistance scum. Oh! Don't get don't vanguard me, please. Thank you. And uh Oh why you have to do this fight? Now I can't lean back because my head pillow fell off the chair. Why? Why does this thing come up like that? And I didn't even have my Enforcer Star Cards equipped when I play with the Flame Trooper, because that's also a very nice bug in this game that has been in the game for three iterations of Evil Count. Very good. Very good. And I don't even, I don't think about that, because I don't think, I don't remember that my star cards gets unequipped every time I play Evo Count, so I forget to re-equip them. 
Dice, please, indeed. I, it's the, that's the kind of bug I just... I, the leak, the leaks must be true, because I can't see any position where, like, something as bad as that gets through three iterations of Evo Count. Like, how? It must be because they're so, so underfunded, under supported that they don't have time to fix even those kind of bugs. It doesn't help that I'm really hungry as well. That doesn't make this. That doesn't make this more fun. <laughs> Yippee! Thank you, Josh Klein, for the super chat. Well, I think you can just watch my stream and you can see my frustration. It's fun, otherwise I wouldn't play it. But there are things in this like there's bugs in a game that you don't get that annoyed at first. But when you have the same bug or really unbalanced thing for six months, then it starts to wear, wear you down. It starts to get on your nerves. And, uh, yeah. Alright, our cycle Thor, thank you very much for tuning in. And I'm sorry for not playing Heroes vs. Villains. The whole thing about the frustration in the community is more about the future content. But this current, like, fix some of these, like, audio dying for, like, completely... Fix the flashbang, fix the things like unequipping enforcer bug, fix Leia's secondary fire. Drink a jug of wine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like to drink alcohol on stream. I could, I drink alcohol before stream sometimes, but then I don't say that I did that because I don't want to promote alcohol to kids. <laughs> I try to be responsible here, but uh, I, it would be fun. I would love to, to chug a jug of wine on a stream. <laughs> I could just tightly like 18 plus stream. My tricks gonna work on me. Only money. <laughs> Thank you, Iceberg. I'm glad you like these streams, dude. That's all that matters. As long as you guys are entertained, I am happy. Uh, <laughs> I don't wanna play in crate. I really don't wanna play in crate right now. Do it song, short thing. Let's get the do it song on. Uh, where is it? There it is. Ever hear the tragedy of Darth Vader's wife? Thank you, Polsky. No, I, I thought not. I, 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 I appreciate I, I thought it. Not. Ever hear the tragedy of Those look, they, they are very fine looking. No, I ordered. I, I wait, I, I ordered a T-shirt from you. That was like a few weeks ago. When are those surviving? <laughs> Isaac in the chat, hello there.
Polsky, you should play it on your stream. Isn't that your kind of music, right? Almost not. <laughs> Alright, have a good night, you two, Riva. Thank you for tuning in, dude. The frame around the stream reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> well, that's... I don't know how your Christmas looks. Maybe we need to... Maybe we need to, sh maybe we need to show Polsky a couple of the other remixes. Which one is your favorite, guys? Which one... Which other creation of Isaac do you want to hear? The link is in the description for the songs. Or at least for his channel, so you can find all of, all of the songs there. Oh, really? Oh, well, this is not going very well, is it? Alright, Blaine. See you. And thank you for tuning in. And Oliver, thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you later. So, which songs do we have? A one half portion, deploy the garrison, hello there. It's a trap, and take a seat. I think deploy the garrison is my is probably my favorite. Other than... I would do it is my favorite, but the second favorite is... Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna care about it. I'm gonna wait here. And. Really? There we go. Deploy the garrison. Let's, let's see what Polsky thinks of this one. Letter Owen, good to see you. Not yours. Check out the link in the description to Isaac's channel. You can find all of his songs there. Hello to Paul. Except the pass. He sounds a bit far now. Yeah, the game. Oh. I don't even know what that is, Owen. Speak normal English. Can I actually do this? Maybe. Oh my god, what is that? What is that game doing? Eduardo, thank you for watching, man. Religious studies, oh man. I honestly think they should re remove religion from school. It should, it doesn't belong in school. It could belong in history, I think. They should move religion to the history section. Because it's, it's definitely good to know about. But it should be removed from school, in my opinion. In 2018, we don't need that. What? What is... Okay, I just... Oh well, that's secondary. Five. Why is he standing still like that? Uh, wait, is my headset not in my document file? Actually, I think it is, but it's not, like, this particular is not possible to get. Actually, let me double check. I think I did put my headset there. It's just, it's the, the non-Star Wars version that's available, I think. What is this item doing? Like, seriously. Why is he just standing still like that? I don't understand. Well, three kills for me, I guess. 
Okay, let's uh That sounds not very nice, Danny Cat. When will we get Clone Wars content? Well, according to the leak, August. But uh, there's not really anything saying that's true. Or it's, it's likely that, that what he said was true at the point, considering he, he, had, he knew everything about the May patch, but he could be wrong. He could change and he could be wrong on that. Let's, can I please kill Bosk? No. Yeah, I see what you mean. Let, let's let's skip that subject for now, so I don't offend anyone, okay? But that's my opinion. Okay, let me put it this way: it should be optional to have religion, because like here in Sweden, I did not have a single friend who was religious, so we were like, why are we learning about this? But if you are religious, then definitely it, it, I can understand it. But it should be. Optional. It's a little bit like I wouldn't force video game studies onto someone else if they're not interested in it. Maybe not the best comparison, okay? But back when that was a, a main thing in school, everyone was religious. And in at least in Sweden, very, very few are religious. Uh, but let's let's leave that subject now before I offend anyone. Anyone everyone's Entitled to their own opinion, I just think they it shouldn't be forced on the people, that's all. But the option option should definitely be there. Oh there's a lot of people. Go 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 go. Oh I just ran past that sniper, whatever. Slaughtering with this ATR here right now. Oh, there's Bosk again. I'm gonna die now. No, he, did, he hasn't seen me. Let me kill this guy and then kill Bosk. Come on, run him over. No! No, 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 it's it's overheated. Oh, he's gonna kill me, but I will. Oh, well, that was a good run. I shouldn't have been forced to do geometry either. I think basic ge geometry is something everyone should know. But I agree, there's a lot of things. I think that in school, in general, there's a lot of things that we don't learn, that we should learn. Everything from doing taxes to how like the government vo voting works. Uh, well, we kind of learn that. But like, how do you, like when you move out from your apartment, th like important things, I don't understand, how can you not have Things that are required to live, basically, as something. Whereas the, you instead learn some uber-specific things that only a fraction of everyone in school will actually have use for, you know? Like basic math, you should have basic Swedish, basic English, basic... Uh, um, what else do we have? History. All good. But... Uh, there's way too many specific things that is are in scare and like music. I don't think music should be that should also be optional. Because at least the music we had wasn't well, let's learn about music history. It was I'm gonna force you to play an instrument whether you like it or not. I don't see that as something everyone should have to learn. That should also be an optional thing for those who want to. What other subjects? That I think was unnecessary. Like hemkunskap. I don't know what that's called in English. But that's when we learned to cook. That was really good. We had it so little though for like a year. But that should also include other important like home things to do. I've never had an issue because I had great parents who taught me all of that. But if you don't have parents, you're screwed basically. Because you haven't learned that from anyone. Or if you have parents who 
have trouble, you know? I almost, I almost think at this day and age that a very basic programming course should be up, uh, uh, elementary. Like, cause everything, like literally everything you do is based around some type of coding. It should be like super, super basic. It could be the kind of visual coding that we started off with where you basically like write square and then you write a couple of numbers and it creates a square on the screen. Like that type of basic. I, that, that would be so much more valuable because it helps logical thinking. Oh, re rhetorics. I didn't even know that was a subject. That kind of sounds a little bit like, you know, Swedish when you get to learn how do you hold a presentation and things like that. English was one of my favorite subjects, actually. Because um, I was pretty good at it. Since I, I played a lot of games, I actually made videos like... I remember one of my last presentations in before before university, because in university you don't have those kind of subjects. But before university was actually, uh, I, I did a presentation on video editing, and I like I showed some green screen effect I did when I like I held a wait what did I I think I had a a green blanket over me, so I, I basically recreated the invisibility cloak from uh, from Harry Potter. Programming is part of all levels of education system in the UK. That's great. It might even be in Sweden. I don't know. I mean, I haven't been in elementary school for... How many years is it? Three, three... Eight years now. So, much have probably changed. Oh, wait. We need to fall back. Uh... Oh, ram them! Oh my... I'm gonna die in a second, I'm gonna ram them all. Ram some more people before I die! Oh well. Dude, Isaac, you... I'm, ser I'm serious, Isaac. You should show your cracks. To your, to your teacher. Uh, and might not appreciate if it's like a very old lady or old uh, dude who don't even know what Star Wars is, but if you have a fairly young teacher, I, I think they'd appreciate it. And just show how much views you've gotten on those videos. Gym class was it, was... it was pretty fun. I mean... I didn't mind it too much. It was some things that were really boring, but like whenever you got to play football or uh, floorball or like killer ball or all those kind of ball sports, it was a lot of fun. But running and stuff like that sucks. Yeah, that's that's actually that could be a separate subject for sure. The rhetoric part. I've been out of high school for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're probably one of the older viewers here, Paul. Uh, I still feel I still feel old when I talk to a lot of my viewers, because I'm 23, and that's probably above average. Yeah, floorball is a Swedish. I can show you. I know it's not Swedish, but it's it's not that common across the world. I played that for like 10 years actually. This is floorball. Let me show you. Uh, looks like this. This is the goal and goalkeeper. Uh, I, I probably my favorite sport. I play some badminton right now, actually. <laughs> Sounds like a fun IT teacher. Yeah, I don't know how people have gotten so lost them, to be honest. Well, on PC I can understand because of mods, but what did I just die of? I don't know. Oh, okay, I see what you mean, Isaac. I see what you mean. No, it's not really hockey. I would not call that hockey. It's no, there's no tackling. Oh, it's called tackling. Yeah, well, you can do like shoulder on shoulder, but you don't do like. It's not as tough or rough as uh, hockey. Or I guess it can be pretty rough since you don't have any protection gear like you do in hockey. But it's a lot quicker than hockey. It's a lot, lot, a lot faster. Like you can go from one side to the other in a few seconds. 
But rule-wise, in terms of just scoring and things like that, it's, it's fairly similar to hockey. Floorball kills more calves than guns. <laughs> Rugby in school, that sounds like something you would not like force people to do. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of watching hockey, I prefer watching football. Floor hockey. I don't think floor hockey is. is pro I don't think it's exactly the same thing as floor ball, to be honest. Could. I, no, I don't think so, actually. It, it might have been floor. Let me see. We call it floor hockey. Floor hockey. Actually, that looks fairly similar. Well, I mean, f no, I mean, f no, okay. It's actually hockey puck. So, floor hockey basically looks like. Yeah. Uh, Floor hockey is one step closer to floorball, but it's not the same. You don't you don't have standing goalkeepers, for instance. Stand together. <laughs> All right, then you can't. Unauthorized access in the briefing room. I will play Respawn Star Wars game, I guarantee you that. I will cover that game on my channel like I've already done. Don't you worry. Uh oh. Rip. Why? Square off is pretty helpful. Square off and uh, what, what's it called when you the opposite the square, taking the square root square of something, square root. It's like when you do times itself. Well, I don't know. I, that's like we all when we learn in uh, math, it's in Swedish. So um, I don't know. So but like for instance, that when you take something and multiply it by yourself x amount of times, like four up in five. I don't know what it's called in English. I think they said it. I think all they've said is an action adventure game for response game. Um, square it. Is it called square it? But what do you say if you take five up in four or whatever you say? <laughs> I, I were not. Be I don't think anyone was beat up at my school, Colin. I mean, bullying is not that uncommon here, but I don't think getting beaten beaten up is at least not in my school. Uh, I I never saw, saw someone get beat up in our school. Uh, the power off. Oh, to the power off. Yeah. So to the power off. That's like I use that all the time when I'm doing math about my savings or like how much will I save if I put this money in there with ten percent profit every year and so on. Um, but I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream now. I feel my uh, I feel like my um, my throat is starting because of the pollen and stuff, and I need to eat as well. Um, but let me see what is there anything they've confirmed before Wednesday I feel like there's not gonna be much news before the season 2 starts but uh, I will be streaming more this week that's for sure next week to be more specific I agree with Polsky you should ex respe respect and everyone no matter where they're from um, that's for sure yeah, I, I, I know eating at this time. I, I had Burger King at like 4 or 5 p.m. So, that, uh, 4 p.m. That was like my lunch. So, and now I'm really hungry. I had some snacks before the stream. Um, three days until season two starts. That is correct. I'm still. I'm still waiting. It's literally been two weeks since the freaking G Fuel. I, I, I hate post nodes. I, it's like we live in a really, really well developed country. But. Our postal service is probably worse than third, like third, what's it called, third world countries. It's pathetic how bad Postnode is. The fact that I, I it's gonna take, it takes a, a package from the US to Sweden four or five days, um, stopping at like six different locations, and then it gets stuck in our customs internally for more than two weeks. Ah. Uh. I, I hate our postal postal system so much. It's so bad. He's going to. <laughs> I'm, I wish if we Gorda had uh, were, were available on online pizza, I'd totally order one right now. Uh, 
My friend ordered G Fuel. It took three days from the US and five weeks from Stockholm to Gothenburg. Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to wait for another two weeks then. And that's the worst thing. Like, I mean, I've, I've said it. I haven't officially gone out and said so, but I've said it in streams. I, I, I am sponsored by them. Or I have head. signed a contract with them. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna excited to like excited to show it off and like drink it on stream but I just can't get that I'm freaking package over here because our postal system is so shit seriously are you going to do a fan mail video I'm actually planning to do that I've got one package over there from David and Luke and then I know Liam was gonna send uh, Liam Hill was gonna send me a package I'm waiting for that one before I unbox them both in a video thank you very much iceberg for the donation <laughs> no, you, don't, you don't need for, you don't need to apologize I'm, if my frustration entertains you, that is completely fine. Um, I'm going to, of course, I'm, you're, you're asking a Star Wars channel if I'm going to watch a Star Wars movie. Of course I am. I have bought tickets for uh, the first uh, the premiere night. Mm, postponed nude, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand how we can have such a bad shipping system. The U.S. That seems to be something the U.S. has really... Like, I usually say Sweden is good at most stuff. But the U.S. has a, a so much better shipping system overall. If you send fan mail... If I send you fan mail, will you make a video? Yes. I want to make more IRL stuff. So, unboxings is definitely one. I'll probably, like, gather up a couple of packages and then open it. Um, hopefully you don't send me poop. <laughs> Uh, I'm 23, 23 years old. Thank you, Blob the Sniper. I hope I don't die from the allergies as well. Although my throat is <coughs> hurt. I, don't, I didn't even have anything to drink during the stream, so... Yeah. Cooking stream, I will try to make that happen. It's almost impossible to do it good here at home. But I, I will ask uh, Kruxel, uh, Ludwig, if we can do another one in his studio. Mm. EA Play starts... Uh, uh, June 9th. Uh, but yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. I will see you with more content next week. Um, yeah. Shipping to Sweden is expensive and slow. Uh, <laughs> Sean, yes. You, you got all the way up there in one month. Or one night, actually. One, one drunk night. <laughs> so thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. I'm going to EA Play, yes. Uh, I am going there. Polski, love you, man. Thank you for watching, as always. We gotta, we gotta play some more PUBG some together. Uh, I need to get some chicken dinners. I haven't gotten a chicken dinner for way too long now. But uh, let's not drag this out. I need to get dinner, okay? Thank you guys very much for watching. And as always, may the force be with you.